And you believe that the streamer promised a broom, but like half the half the stream is probably gonna be a vacuum cleaner instead. SMH my head. Shameless streamer, honestly. I know, right? Fucking crazy. Like, for example, this wonderful, beautiful Top 200 replay here is using a vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner is faster on this level. actually have the stream on or not, but I wanted to start off with some uh, explanation. I'm playing on um I'm playing on the mod client right now. I don't know how many serious runs I'll do today, but, you know. You can see input input viewer in, um, in lower right here. I made, I made sure my webcam was not in that quadrant of the screen. You can see how many, time, how many times per second the average uh, Ryhard gamer presses dash a lot. No, this is this is a modded version, so there's a uh, there's a community built mod client which is very helpful. Also lets you do stuff like this. So for example, let's say you wanted to um let's say you wanted to look at your super puggers very, very cool replay here. You're like, damn, I'm good, but why am I, why am I to only top 200 and not top 100? Is this world record? I wish. I fucking wish. Let's say you let's say you want to know where your uh, where your time loss is. So this game is very cool. So I have um I have replay ghosts on now. Here's this other guy racing versus me. all the ways I lost time relative to him and some places where I gain time actually like I do some I do some parts pretty fast you can see his inputs too right
Or you can you can look at the world record and watch as it leaves both of us in the dust. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the world record level players in this game are, um, they're on a completely different level, to be honest. And, um, no, 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 I'm, I'm watching replays. That's the world record play there. Oh uh, yeah, here. I'll also go ahead and post since people are here. No, 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 no. You are not you are not going to see me set a world record. No matter how good you think I am. That's not happening. And you're... <laughs> It'd be really cool if I just booted the game up and... Instruction... <laughs> it's funny you say that, because... I am actually, I am, I am of course one frame off here. This is, this is the, this is the easiest world record to tie. I'm one frame off. Or two frames off. It's a 230 way tie on this level. It's it's like a it's a 200 plus way tie. Why are you losing that frame? I'm not cuz I'm not frame perfect. I haven't I haven't sat here and played it until I was frame perfect. You know, I really could, couldn't I? Yeah, I mean, I know. I've just shot. I wasn't gonna sit here and actually grind the frame. Does anyone actually want to sit here and watch me grind the one fr one frame off of this level? One fast drop into heavy attack. World record stream. Not what I intended to do, but since someone in chat brought it up, I thought it would be funny. Did Infinite get this? Uh... I mean, what do you what are you going to do? What are you going to do differently? Like. You you dash off on the first possible frame. You dash down on the first possible frame. Uh, the API for friends times doesn't work um, when you have Steam friends hidden. But 
Fortunately for you guys, you can see Mr. Infinite's times um, here, should you wish. <coughs> I mean, anyone, anyone can go grind that row record, right? Yeah, it's like... I mean, uh, okay, like... The, the idea, right, is that... There's a first possible frame where you can dash, right? Once you, once you dash on that frame, there's a first possible frame where you can fast fall. Once you fast fall, as long as you don't, like, accidentally grab onto the walls, your speed is- you're, you're falling and you're continually gaining speed, then there's a first possible frame where you can input the down heavy and have, like, the very bottom pixel, you know, the, the earliest possible frame where the bottom of your heavy attack hitbox hits the thing, and then the level just ends, right? There's, there's like, there's not, there's nothing, there's nothing you would actually do differently to save time there. This game really does look cool, doesn't it? Do I get Plink to help? I think it would eat your dash, honestly. I'm not sure, but I think... I think there is actually like a lockout on your dash. Two frame window, it might be. But like, it's um, either way, like, this isn't like, this isn't like some level where there's just some crazy TAS only trick. It's like, uh, you know, any any speed gamers in chat will, like, tell you, like, you know, the, the dragster meme. Right? The, the dragster Atari game, the 5.6 whatever, right? Like, when a, when a game is that short, you can just literally have an AI brute force every possible input combination in that window. And then you can just, you can just see that there exists, you can deterministically prove that there is no faster time. <clears throat> and when it's this short, you can, if you're a human, you can just throw thousands of attempts at it and get it once, and then you just have world record. So yeah, for people who aren't familiar with the game and coming here and from the Dust Force uh, Twitch category saying this game looks cool, for any noob gamers in chat, of whom there are surely only one or two, the important things to know about like going fast in this game are... Um, dashing while in the air makes you go fast. Dashing down while going in the air makes you go fast. And if you dash on the first few, I don't know how big the frame window is, but like um, dashing right after you land from a from a down dash like that, you can see I get a bit of a boost there. Stuff like that makes you fast. Things like um, dashing off walls instead of jumping is fast. If you're not on the ground, then you're not dashing, so you're not going as fast. If you're just floating in the air, you're not going as fast. Oftentimes, it's faster to attack the dust instead of um, 
instead of running over it. Be like, you make your racing line tighter. There's things like that at play. And... Oh, that's most, that's most of it, to be honest. Um... Your combo attack there um, respects line of sight for like regular dust on the walls, but not for like enemies. You can attack the enemies through the walls here, but I need line of sight on the dust for the combo attack to clear it. Anything else I'm forgetting? Yeah, but I've been I've been playing this game. I was I've been playing this game again for like two weeks while I was bored. I figured now was a good time to uh, like, since as we all know, Aru is going to um, be a consistent streamer for the remainder of this month and quickly allow his viewers to get the 88.88k reward. I figured it would be good if people had an explanation of what. what the uh, really good players are doing in these replays. It'd be a good map if it didn't have a completely broken camera, but I see. I don't play custom maps generally, but I'll give it a try for the meme. I don't know where to go in the uh, dust mod to find the daily, but I'll I'll find it. here. Osu, click the circles. I think I have to do something to download it probably. Here it is. <laughs> Damn it. That's a, that's a cool place to put an enemy. Trying to go fast. Hesitation is defeat, as they say. It's probably easier if you just uh, do this, yeah. Damn it. Better be a checkpoint. Uh, 
fuck is this? Uh, I need to... I don't get a jump back unless I do something crazy there. Uh, I'm just gonna skip that. Definitely plan. I, I I took a look at the situation and I was like, damn, there's probably a camera bug here. Almost. I okay. But I didn't press my quick quick restart button there. My, my muscle memory is too strong. Watch a uh, world record level player do it. This guy is indeed much better than I am. I guess you don't need to double jump it. I guess you need to be better at keeping momentum. That's basically the end of the level, though. Right, back to uh, levels made by professional developers. Do this. <clears throat> Some customs. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Don't get me wrong. It's um, and it's the it's the classic problem, right? When you have a bunch of fan when you have a bunch of fan made content, right? Like the uh, variance in level quality is usually much higher. Obviously not all the stock levels are good, right? In fact, I would even say some of them are quite bad. But, um... It's going to be rare in a game like this that the uh, worst stock level is... Like, that much worse is below or <clears throat> is below the average or very far like the average quality is going to be much higher right you 
Yeah. Let's see here. What, what can I do to save two seconds on this level? Low beginning. Don't need to grab that ledge. Don't need to go up there. Better dashing at the end. This is actually the, uh, like, probably the longest period of time I've, uh... I've been playing with just a, with just a focus on speed and not completing levels I haven't completed before. It's been interesting to see how well I can do at some of these. Some of some of these levels, the um, the average top five hundred run is not that not that impressive. You can get type 500 with that slow of a section there. As long as you don't like obviously lose time anywhere else. Some levels you uh some levels you have to really work to save time to like if I um if I can find a uh a much better Dustman run. One that beats my time by like two seconds. It really does, doesn't it? It really does. And this play is way less careful on the beginning. Plays less careful at the end here. There's hideout where you can just not die and not go slow and collect a free top 500 time. Just don't stop moving. Collect the top 500 time. I hadn't like completed this level in 10 years until like this past week, so that was fun. Some would say this actually this game actually looks cooler than every game ever made. I don't even know 
but like you do the save three seconds on this level. Even like even even a top even like a three hundred rank time or so is actually like losing time to the way I play. Guess I do lose some time there going slow. I really lose that much time on those. Uh, that bit maybe I do. Three seconds though? Yikes. I definitely lose some time there. Eh. I guess it makes sense. Uh, I guess I really lose time here. Playing safe. I always get uh, mogged by the enemies. Yeah, for any prospective soon-to-be future Dust Force gamers in the chat, most of this need not apply to you, of course. This one's silly. I'm I'm mad about this one. Probably just go and beat this one. I waste like how many seconds? Like three whole seconds. Just make I should just get a play without that in it. play the game now. Crazy as I may sound. Play this game that it that looks so cool. off of there. Fuck it. Trying to time a jump there is so annoying. Dashing's probably faster anyway. Also, some more advanced um, this tool is very powerful. Like, that's some really advanced uh, like practice features you can use.
All the good players probably just uh, bike jump. Yeah, so how's everyone doing today? Any uh, any questions on what's going on in any level? I'd be happy to try to answer. I do shill for this game all the time. A known, I'm a known shiller. It's hard to do this part fast. this game to Celeste. I mean, you can. The thing about Celeste is that um, in order to, like, chain uncapped speed, you actually have to do a lot more work than in Dust Force. Like, you can... You can chain techniques together to keep your speed fast in both games, but am I failing this part? It's the easy part of the level. There's not even a better place to use that super though, I think. save it there's not really a better place to use it. But like in Celeste, right, um chain it you chain your uncapped you chain uncapped speed by um Chain, you can chain like ultras and stuff, right? So like you'll see people diagonally dashing into the ground repeatedly. In order to keep in order to keep your uncapped faster than normal speed. Like continually boost speed. You have to be like constantly doing something fast against the ground or against the corner to keep it up, right? But in this game, I'm gonna show up better. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. In this game, right, if you, if you watch someone who's really, really good at the game, they are different. All you're really doing is just dashing at the correct time, and... All you're really doing is just dashing at the correct time, and... If you're continually dashing, you'll make- you won't lose your uncapped speed. But like, the, uh... I'm gonna out myself as a can't reach, can't reach difficult without dust kid player. I still don't know how you reach this without with any other character. No. Nah, I don't care. Sorry, I don't care. So like you're falling here, right? Your speed is uncapped when you're when you dash down and you're falling. You're just constantly gaining speed. What you can do is you can 
you see this little, you see this lip here, where it changes from a 45 degree angle to a regular angle blazon? If you dash and you're holding right, you're holding the direction you're trying to go, you dash right at that seam, at that 45 degree seam, you keep your, you basically keep your speed, you transfer it from horizontal to, you transfer it from vertical to horizontal speed. You end up with something like this. Right? You can go, you can go, you can go up this high. I had this much this much vertical downwards momentum. So it's literally just like, it's literally just a timing thing, right? You just... This whole level is built around this. Although it emphasizes the timing of the of the doubt of the transition or than it does keeping momentum for a long time afterwards like the spe the speedy players will you know they'll they'll keep momentum from using moves like this for a long parts of levels in some cases the entire level if you're good enough and the level's laid out so you can do it There we go. Nope. Barely. This one's got, this level is kind of mean. This is a, this is the second hardest level in the game. I guess third if you count infinite difficult. The second or third hardest dev made level. This is usually where I stop playing if I'm playing this level for fun. There we go. That's the hardest. That's the hardest part of the level right there, in my opinion. Is that like that Z, the figure eight or whatever part you have to do. But it, 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 it ends up being very different than Celeste in terms of how you have to maintain momentum. Some things do still apply, like both games you uh, you want to like, you know, not fuck yourself up around corners and stuff like that. Celeste, Celeste rewards you for like being really precise with your corners by, by giving you little boosts and fudging the, num fudging the game physics in your favor. This level has a pretty hard requirement on you understanding this mechanic, which is which is the main reason why I understand it. You really you can't do this level without understanding what's going on here. Without being good enough at this particular technique. Getting enough height. Here. I'm tired of doing this, but you can see here, like, this is, um, 
There's only 1,000 people that have even completed this level. I forget how far down you have to go. There's actually more people than I thought you've gotten SS, huh? More people, there's about as many people who've gotten SS probably as who have completed Yada. Which I can't speak for everyone, but I think completing Yada is harder than SSing Zeta. I don't even know how you do the level this slow. Anywho, back to uh, erasing my shame and failure from the leaderboards. not like that, I mean, it's like... <laughs> there's just, there's not that much room to do slow strats, you know? Like, the level just doesn't allow you to... Well, I, I know you know what I mean, but for anyone in chat who doesn't know what I mean... A lot of these levels, there's usually a slower, safer strat that I'm just not going for because I'm playing for speed right now. The prospective gamers who are going to have some guy save up 88k channel points just to make them play this would do well to note that you can, you can play slow and still do everything in the level. Of his Zeta SS. That actually that that would be a funny challenge run, honestly. One of these days are they're gonna remove the Kapow emote and you're gonna stop getting bullied by the by your tab complete. Did I actually watch the uh, slowest Zeta SS run? I can go back and watch it. It's actually a thing. Think of this one lip. Do that. There's surely like slowest SS without waiting at the spawn. What the fuck? Is this real? I didn't realize we were up to hours here. You know, these are minutes. I think. <laughs> the spike jump. The spike jump to go slower. Oh, 
Oh, I have a feeling I know what's coming here. this time coming from well okay yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> yes, so, um, for any anyone who doesn't know you do gain a tiny amount of height from completing an attack I don't know if it's intentional or not, but your attack animation moves you up a few pixels. It's uh, noticeable, maybe in some levels. Like I, I, I totally, I've totally, definitely not died to it in multiple levels. So I think even if, um, even if you're not frame perfect mashing there like to get an attack out as soon as possible i think you still like probably gain the height back it's probably actually pretty easy as long as you can just rhythmically tap you know like G gmc could do that right gmc could just tap x long enough tap x gamers right Are you telling me, are you telling me, Ari, that no one's made, like, a dumbass, like, a dumbass, uh, Dragon Force entire music catalog, three-hour meme map in Osu that's worth 89 Googleplex PP if you can HD DT it? Are you telling me that doesn't exist? Osu players be like, bro. Free PP. I hate this one jump so much. This is the worst jump in the, in the level. see there I actually I gain enough height to uh I, I gain enough height there to die off the top of those spikes I didn't rhythmically press correctly isn't there a 30 minute light also light attack on big prisms don't give hit rise interesting okay so that is actually probably frame perfect mashing then lovely Also, please don't destroy my hypothetical scenario with facts and logic art and just let me say a lot about our society. Good morning, Chitanda. Any lava fans in chat? Alright, there's definitely a way I'm doing that faster, but... I don't think I need to to beat my PB, so we're just gonna ignore it for now. I kinda want that in the replay now. Damn it. Never mind.
For anyone not familiar with the game, this is one of the gold maps, which are like the hardest, the hardest tier of maps without difficult in the name. I keep missing completion there, trying to go fast. Oh, I need to practice this level anyway. Yeah, actually, uh, my first Giga Difficult Clear was, uh, fell afoul of that limit back in 2012. My very first Giga Difficult Clear spent, like, you know... My very first Giga Difficult Clear, I think, took me, like, 30 IRL minutes. Of course, 20 of which was spent on the walls, because I had no fucking clue what to do as a clueless 16-year-old gamer. If you have a better strat, sure. Really, it's not doing this. No, it doesn't reach. And also, just watch a replay. Well, the nice thing about. Spike jump on the left edge of the tunnel. Left. Uh huh. I see. I think I see what you're saying. I'll give it a try. That does sound better. I, I don't disagree, that sounds better. My phone's vibrating. Maybe my mic didn't pick that up. Sorry, it did. Helps to down dash into the spike jump. I will be honest, I actually thought you had to hold dash to spike jump. Do you not?
I didn't actually want to finish the level there. I just make a safe state on this thing. Hold down right. Yeah, I, I see. I've got to react to actually getting the spike jump. Safe state. I have not I have not played with the safe staging tools yet, but we're gonna, gonna figure it out here. I don't know. I guess for just S completion gamers it makes sense, right? Like for S for S completion gamers, that's the hardest part of the level, and then you don't wanna take their fun away because they like dashed out of the easy ending part into a spike or something. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. See, what do I have my... Where's my dust mod option? will do it. Oh, what do I want to... F3, F4, disable checkpoints. Rise, you couldn't change the dust mod options in a level. Need to tick enable frame advance. Oh no, it breaks the music! 
All right, GG. That's not as trash. GG. We fucking lost. Now you just now you just get cleaning ASMR sounds. I feel like that's not what I want, but I want to just dash through faster too, right? Faster to hit this guy with the, um, the super. Just to slow down and hit him when you don't need to because you just spike jumped. Thing is, you have to. I I think I see. I have to learn the muscle memory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trick looks, this trick actually does feel pretty good though. Like once I'm, once I'm getting it a few times, this feels pretty good. Feels uh, more consistent than doing something normal. Okay, I accidentally stand on the spikes. Which one is the left blob? The very left one? The upper left one? Not usually worried about the spread, mostly because um, I usually fuck up getting the uh, I fuck up getting the momentum to get over that bike wall if I don't get the spread. So I usually just, uh, usually just suck it up. Maybe if I was trying to, if I was optimizing this for speed, it would be a problem. It probably would be. Trying to be fancy. Hmm, yeah, 
that's all right enough of that i'm gonna try doing another actual level try doing some more full runs go back to listening to the music Look at chat. I used to play this game with the Twitch chat on. I want to get a feel for doing the spike jump in actual runs. going to work in every run I do. There is no way I will fail this on pace. Not once. It's free. I'm trying to go fast. Fortunately, I am trying to go fast. I love trying to go fast in gold levels. I should have jumped there. But I actually feel it feels really good in rhythm. It feels re it feels really good when you're actually flowing through a level. You don't really have to slow down to do it. That is gonna be my preferred strat. death without the spike jump.
every time I fall slightly too fast there, I'm like, yeah, there's probably, you can probably just fast fall that really fast and then like attack the slime on the wall and dash onto the thing, dash onto the weird oval platform that makes no sense geometrically. Probably pretty hard though. I mean, probably pretty tight on that one. Subtle for just getting a run where I like don't slow down and stop moving for three seconds and then we'll think about if we want to optimize this any by any of the optimization. That might TP again. Oh, five. So that's two seconds off my TP with a death. This is definitely faster than if I actually do it all. even top 500. I'm thinking I'm thinking about the time too much to just try to play the level. Oh, that almost looked really cool. Problem is with a level, with level, with these gold levels, right? Like, when they have these hard sections at the end, it makes me a little more reluctant to like learn the time optimizations at the beginning. Like a silly, uh, a silly. A silly regular level like abandoned car park I will absolutely grind the uh, grind the degen speed strut at the beginning because like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuck up the ending random a minute into that level level doesn't even last a minute here I'm a little more like well Ending's really easy to mess up. Let's try getting... Let's try actually getting a few runs there. I was probably too high if I dashed there. I think I was. I can tell. Reading gamers. Actually did my muscle memory correctly. Yeah. It's easier if you land further left on the spike. I believe. Feels easy feels like the window for dashing is more lenient if you're further to the left on the spike. Which would make sense.
Die. Now, I, now I can't do it, uh, but eat my best time with a death. Okay. Do time PB, Krapa. Landed on the point. Wow, I'm so good. Pixel perfect land. Imagine ruining your run in a pixel perfect fashion. Watch, I'm gonna do it now, now that I have no pace. Never mind. Pace fit. cancel on a diagonal ledge, right? I'd actually look and see how people do that. Feels like free time save if I actually learn it, but no idea what people do about this. I guess Buffworth can probably just cheese it like he can most things. try that hard to go fast at this part, I just need to do the end correctly. That was... I might have actually been submitted if I didn't fuck it up. 
That was actually pretty good. Oh well. Decision gaming, am I right, guys? You can probably do something creative with a spike jump there to uh, gain some speed to hard. like being a scoring player, right? You like you you get a board and you're like, hmm, I could actually try uh, grazing a bit more with this border. And you lose the border immediately and you're like, well, could have, yeah, if I was good. about it. Almost one minute flat. Saddest sight in the world. Hey, yes, that beats PD by five seconds. Where does it even put you? Computer board. Uh, 400? Yeah. Holy shit, this is like a top 250 tier time. Alright, well I'm I'm actually grinding this out now. Like fuck 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 this level. I gotta have a top I gotta have a top 250 time on it. Yeah, so what happens is I um, I spread some I spread some of the dust on the on the leftmost blob I was attacking. When you heavy attack, it uh it spreads onto nearby walls. Mercifully, it cannot spread onto spikes because that would be a nightmare. You can see there, right? It's red. There we go. Oh! One minute flat. Great, Gavin. There we go.
So this is this is what I've been doing while I while I'm on break from Celeste. I've just been doing this with specific levels. Let's see. Uh, let, let's see how. Let's see where the time saves are here. All right. I guess that one. That one. I should have known that one. Yeah. Oh, of course. That's how you go fast there. Uh huh. Oh, I see. I see. What you, yep. Okay, that saves a lot of walking time, doesn't it? That's, that's a cool skip at the end there. Yeah, all these all these people you see here in the top like uh, 50 or so on every level are all very correct at the game. Like if you if you pay attention, you're gonna see like a lot of the same names repeating. And indeed, if you look at like the ranking leaderboard I listed earlier, like the gap, the skill gap gets uh, a little crazy at a certain point. Like, you know, I'm I can complete all the levels good, which is already something only like five hundred people in the world can say. And I still get ridiculously skill gapped by some of these plays. The skill cap is very high. Very, very high in this game. here do this turn on let's turn on ghosts let's uh, compare this with us even a play like 50 spots above let's let's see let's see where I would have to save time to jump up 50 50 spots at this point this is two seconds time save. I uh, see. That's what that's what a second right there, probably. Your replay, oh this is you, huh? Oh good job, you beat me by two seconds. That, that, that's free time save, I can just go for that. Paper down attack. Oh. Huh. Oh, actually, I have time save there at the end, don't I? Save time over there at the end. Hmm? Actually, I could probably beat that. Let's see, uh, let's see a top 100 time. Uh, I'm not even, like, it's, it's not even... And it's a, it's a one minute long... It's a one minute long level, right? So if you, if you look at a one minute long level and you see where you have... 
two or three seconds of time save and some parts over a time two or three seconds better than you, you go, well, maybe I should just copy their time save. My time save now, right? You just yoink, yoink the strats that give you a, that gave you the slight disadvantage and keep doing the stuff that gave you an advantage. This guy doesn't even do the thing. And that's how speedrunning works, right? This guy's two seconds ahead of the one we just watched by the end, and he's been behind this whole way pretty much until now. And I can guess where most of the second, second and a half is coming from. But he actually ends up even again. It's gonna be the ending, right? This guy does the spike jump probably at the end and doesn't. Oh! Still faster, but you know, you see, right? Like, you look at a variety of runs here over a one minute, over a one minute long level, specifically. Look at someone who's top 60-ish. I imagine, yeah. I imagine this run probably just does most of the things that are fast these other runs did. Yeah, that, it helps. Like, don't get me wrong, like, all that stuff helps. It's just, um... This guy straight up fucks up. This guy straight up just fucks up his, uh... His strat. He's just fast enough on the rest of the level that it ends up being top. It ends up being like 61 anyway. Yeah, see. That ending is faster. If you're actually gonna go that way, it's faster. I'm gonna look at a top 10 time. Which is still three seconds behind world record, by the way. I'm only top 100 on one level, and it's a level that's prohibitively difficult to complete. I can't compete with these people who can actually com I can't compete on levels where, like, more than a few hundred people can actually complete the level. Very clean. Like that. Interesting. Two spike jumps. I'm trying to see what like the slowest replay that didn't do the skip is. I imagine the skip save the skip saves on its own, like probably like a second or two. be a 52 second run and I certainly could right like hopefully hopefully uh, if you're watching this it looks like hey, this guy can learn the hard strat the hard fast strats I didn't exactly plan on uh, Spending the whole stream on one level. I'm more interested in trying to raise my average my average ranking on all the levels. To me it's not even obvious which strats are hard and which ones are not. That's fair. And I'll tell you that skip is that skip where they go through the gap there is pretty hard to me. I would I I don't know if I could do that consistently.
Well. I mean, for sure I could pick some of it up, but the problem, the problem also is, right, that when you're trying to pick up time save from strats, like from strats specifically, like an, an important, an important aspect of just speed gaming in general, right, is, um, Look at it this way, right? That one minute run was a run where I basically executed all of my easy strats correctly, right? I got a run where I executed all my easy strats correctly and then I did a cool spike jump to go fast right at the very end, right? Good play. Good play. Not everyone can do this. It's a good play. It's fast. I'm happy with it. Felt good to get. If I yoink, if I yoink the strat where, you know, turn these ghosts off because there's 15 of them now. If I yoink the strat where I like, where you come down here, right? And you, you like, you do this, right? I yoink this strat, that means I have to A, change my muscle memory to do this strat, which means I have to like practice, I have to practice doing runs with this strat. And then I have to get a run where everything else goes right again, right? Where I don't lose time because like, I don't lose time to my PB doing something slow. The point I'm striking at is that, um... That's true, that's certainly true. I mean, to be honest, right, like... In terms of my own personal journey, Like, I didn't really think of myself as someone who could get top 200 times until I played Zeta Difficult and, like, I was forced to kick it at the movement in order to complete the level. Zeta, Zeta says if you're bad at movement, you can't get past the first wall. So I just had to learn better movement. A lot of the prefix difficult levels force you to be comfortable with a specific aspect of movement in order to complete them in the first place, let alone SS them. But the the and in that are is just that um just that it will, one, it would take up the rest of the stream time I was going to play this game today. But two, it's, um, you know. Well, no, I, I'm, I'm not disinterested in doing this. Smash doesn't start... Or actually, when does Smash start? Thanks for reminding me, Goryuk. I, I was so immersed in Dust Force, the coolest poggest game ever, that I forgot I was supposed to watch Smash Bros. today. What time does it start? Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern? Oh, shit. Uh, 
So it's it's not that it's not that I don't think I could sit here and grind out for better times on some of these admittedly strong replays and fun levels. Like I I like the levels, I like the game. But do you think that do you think that me grinding this level to take um to take say what is it? A second and a half off and get up to here is gonna make me better than grinding another level that uses a slightly different skill set. The way the way I see it is that I'm like I'm playing this I'm playing this game to get better right now. And so what I want is I want to I want to get like most or all of my times into this top 200, top 300 range. And be like, you know, the, the leader, the leaderboards clearly say that even completing some of these levels makes you a top two or 300 level player, right? So just go collect my top two or 300 level times. Go learn, go learn a level, go learn all the speed, go learn the speed tricks, learn how to go fast, learn what works and what doesn't in a level, and then just get, get a good time that reflects my current skill, and over the time it takes to do that for 60, 70 levels, you've improved at the game in that time, right? Like, learning, learning that... That's probably, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, right, is like, like that spike, that spike jump timing I learned there at the end of that level, at this level, right? Maybe, maybe I'm just more used to doing that kind of trick now. So in other levels where it's faster, I just, I see someone do that in a replay and I just do it now. I put the time in to learn it. Like I'm just I'm just trying to get better and have fun. I'm not trying to do the infinite genesis three hours on a single level because I have to beat juice time. Yeah. And also, as as a bonus, right? Even even though even though it's not the main goal, right? If you look at how the ranking the rankings are calculated, right? Getting this run basically gave me 385 ranking points, right? Whereas taking taking half a second off of this run gains me like 30. Not what I wanted to do, but that's cool. It's cool that that's there. So like it works better in all in pretty much every sort every facet of the game to spread out and focus on like playing levels you're bad at and try to improve your skills that way. At least at least for me right now. One of the things I wanted to one of the reasons I wanted to stream this style of learning was because like Well, normally I stream survival gameplay, right? So, hitless, hitless, or um, that sort of thing, right? Hitless or one CC gameplay. Well, what 
what would I? I just take take half a take a whole second off. Jump this many ranks. The hard level to gain ranks on. Clean. A little dirty. That's good. The real problem, the real problem is like being like aware enough of your own play to like tell which levels would actually make you better, right? Like just, just know, just know which levels have things you need to work on and just play them. Just know. Actually, wonder does the uh, what does the speed style gameplay do here? Do they have to? Can you heavy through the wall or you can? Nice. You don't get an, you don't, don't definitely don't clean enough to get a super on this level. That's cool. This is a mashing level here. Gotta be a faster way to view multiple replay ghosts at once. I don't know it because I don't use the, I don't use this spot very often. Look at how much faster this guy goes just because he mashes better. beginning. I did actually wonder. I know the, uh, I know there's a, I know there's like a replay validation algorithm. I wonder if that checks for like perfect mashing. Obviously, the timing, the timing of the, uh, the timing of when you start mashing is really important. There's not no skill involved in that still, but I, I do wonder sometimes how many of these times you use macros, if any. These are Dustworth plays. I, as I assume most of the top players don't. I assume most or all of the like hardcore top players don't. If not be if not because of the validation, just because we don't want to, right? Yeah. That's what I that's what I was thinking. I, I to to be to be completely honest, I feel like 
most of the top 100 plays are probably actually harder with a with a macro than without because you lose precision and timing some specific things. What do you even do to do this? Do you just climb up to the top? Oh, okay. Level is fun. Did I actually learn this level properly for once? on some parts of this level. Hard for me to tell. Disagree, you probably can. That's probably true. I guess I guess in that circumstance the the validation would be um Yeah, the validation would be if you if you a top top five hundred Andy like myself even just randomly got a top 30 time, I'm pretty sure everyone would actually, like, look at you sideways, right?
Like, in a, in a game like this, everybody knows who all the relevant players are anyway, so... Not like, um... Not like someone who's not a known relevant player is gonna just... Gonna just randomly get a god tier time on some level. All these levels are too optimized for that. I'm not getting... I'm not keeping enough speed there. Uh, okay. Beginning... I'm just gonna reset this beginning like 500 times. I probably should. I, if, if I wanted to seriously improve at this game, I would like go find a custom map that... A custom map that required proper rhythm, right? And just like do it on that. I should have a decent sense of rhythm because I was up the band kid and I think you want to be higher on the wall probably if that's what I'm losing to. say for what it's worth, I am a dirty pinky dasher. I'd have to unlearn 10 years worth of muscle memory to switch. I mean, I can't not like you can't play while pinky dashing, right? That's a hard, that's a hard slope to hit. <laughs> no, I, yeah, you can definitely, uh, still play the game correctly while peaky dashing. I hate that I hate that lip is there. I may, I may practice that on my off-screen time.
think I should, um... The caveat I should give is that I've actually pretty much never played Dust Force seriously for speed. And that's, uh... Annoying part. I was a, I've been a completion gamer my whole Dust Force life. Should be able to get a sub 20 on this one. Might take me a little more than the time remaining I was gonna play today. Actually, I, was, I legit thought I was gonna get the whip again. Alright, well I can see the improvement.
Well, I just need to get a beginning as clean as that and then actually do the ending properly. And like, my instincts always tell me, like, you know, like normally that corner's not rounded like that. You can at least ledge dash it, right? At least ledge cancel it. You can't really recover from that, at least not in terms of speed. how close I was to at least the top 500 time. The reason I picked this level is actually stupid. It's because if you look at the other ones in this, um, in this, like, quadrant of levels, because this is the only one I don't have top 500 on. I just wanted to look at my desk kit and see a bunch of top 500 times in a row. Top 300, woo, let's go. Oi, oi, oi. My poor pinky. My poor, poor pinky. Top 
top 300 until our true true I'll say you're welcome to try to snipe my times I welcome the friendly competition I think most of the people who are dust force veterans in chat probably have better times than me besides Besides Aru, of course. Have to snipe at least one to feel good. Well... Well... Tell you what, or tell you what, okay? Make a deal, okay? Come on, look over here. Here, here in the end game levels here. This is an eight. This is an eight point three. This is an eight point three year PB old PB. <laughs> you can't you totally can snipe my three hour yada that one's free 80 three hour time that one's mega free you can even you can snipe it with an sd five hour time if you want technically better and now uh, this is currently my worst replay in terms of rankings I don't have very many that are outside the top 1,000 after playing the last two weeks, and this is easily my worst now by several hundred bots. You can see, you can, if you watch it for yourself, you can see how slow it goes at multiple points. These are baby struts. Freshman, freshman year in uni creeps here. All you have to do is just be a flow gamer for a little bit and not die and it's pretty much free. Yeah, that's literally all I was doing. I was like, these levels are bullshit. I'm never going to do them all. I might as well just try. I'm going to just try to like clear them. And then look at this. This guy, he just hits the, he hits the heavies for like two seconds and then combos them instead of just heavy attacking them all once. This one's so free. Like, anyone, anyone can snipe this. It's in the bottom half of rankings. Literally, literally 50% of the people who did this level are better than me. Surely, surely this one can be sniped. And as a show of good faith, and I know you'll eventually unlock these levels. I'll leave this one unbeaten. The rest of these, I, I will not make any promises. Up to and including watching Aru try to beat the time and then booting the game up and beating the time while watching Aru try to beat my old time. What's a, what's a level I can improve in 30 minutes? Hmm. I actually think I can improve this one. I have some time save on this one. Maybe, maybe it's a bit hard. The pretty, this is a decently strong run without any, like, really difficult strats in it. A bunch of these runs are just didn't go slow. Just don't just don't be slow at all at any point and collect your free top 500 time.
That was a bit slow. This part's a bit slow. I got probably like a second or two of free time saved in here. Got a quick yes. Yes. Yeah, surely. Fuck, he actually did get a quick Yada SS. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, you, can, you can actually see like the most recent uploaded replays to the to the servers, and he actually did just go get a quick Yada SS just to dunk on me. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say you had a lot of free time safe. We watched. We all we all saw it, right? Bad behavior, honestly. Bad behavior. <laughs> Let's watch it. Where is it? It definitely is faster than what I was doing, but not by that much. That's a really hard heavy attack to hit for for anyone who hasn't played the level. It's not a, it's not actually that easy. <laughs> Maybe it's easy if you practice it enough, but it felt it's pretty hard to uh, like fall in that gap and then line it up and then turn around and. Oh, I see. That's pretty nice. Bike jump all the way over there on the left. I see this is that's true. Yeah, it's 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 easy enough that uh, if you like play it safe, you can just super to save it, and evidently still get a top 100 time. I mean, you want to look at the, um, want to look at the equivalent run here on this level, right? What does what the rank 83 run look like on this level? The boost there at the beginning. Oh, that's nice. Very clean here. Just the nature of longer versus shorter levels, right? There's much fewer core temple replays that have 18 seconds of gameplay as optimized as this. But if you have 55 seconds of gameplay that's like maybe 90% as optimized as this, then still get the equivalent rank. Leader, the leaderboards are a funny place. And the fucking, the tutorial level, right? Like, look at how, look at how narrow the difference is. Everyone's, everyone's fighting to save frame, literal frames. It's actually the hardest level in the game. Save time, no kappa. Oh, 
Well, not all of us can be god gamers, right? Like there's there's frame there's all these frame ties in the uh, at the top 100. They you save a frame and then you go up. This is the tutorial level, which has... This is, this is the one level basically everyone who's bought the game on Steam has played. Everyone who's played the game has played this level pretty much. It's like one of the hardest ones to do fast. I'm dog at it personally, like I, I can't... I can't... I'm hard stuck 15 seconds right now. Maybe, maybe Aryu can snipe that one too. Aryu can snipe me with a 14 seconds downhill. I can, uh, I can eat some karma. Measure my words. So slow. It actually puts you on like the last. Yes. No, I could. I totally could if I like played the level for more than like. A few hours. More than like... It's just got a lot of uh, diminishing returns, right? It's also not making me very much better at the game. Like we talked about earlier. Can. You can save time by doing some pretty clowny things on that map. I missed some opportunities there to go fast, I think. Probably, uh... It's probably top, like, 300 times that don't go for these, uh, slope boosts I'm going for here.
No, I'm choking. No. Oh, I even missed something. It wasn't even faster, and I missed something anyway. what I should do. I should actually analyze this level if I want to go faster. Underestimate it. Do this. I don't know even trying to save here if I want to top 500 time. That's actually a lot. Maybe the times on this level are actually good. say that, but that's actually pretty slow. Oh, uh, okay. A good enough place to use the super. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think I was right. I think, um... Yeah. The, the times tend to be rather unoptimized in the top 500 even for longer levels. This guy is doing some, like, this guy's not not doing speed tech. Replay does do speedy things, it just also misses dust in rather unfortunate places. Miss that dust. Wah. Oh, there we go. I didn't miss anything that should be. Yep. Ugh. Disgusting. Top 500 time, but whatever. The uh, 
see what the god gamers do. Guess that one goes without saying. Oh, that's nine head. That's Giga Brain right there. He didn't catch that any he... that he didn't catch that in chat. He leaves the uh leaves the lip of the slope. Of a dust block slope. Like completely untouched. And slope boosts off of that on the way back. Gain speed. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. What time do I have? 15 minutes? This one is as high as it is. attack that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Music? Music? Well, restarting for music. I think the music trigger is just broken or something. Yeah, that was a little slow. left by the way. Probably a, there's probably a few faster places to use combo attack, but hell if I know where they are. That's probably faster, huh? Uh, I want a little green. 
my time on being trying to be here again. That would have been three seconds. That's not too bad. I'm sure that's fast. It's probably not the fastest, but it's definitely fast. I hope I cleared that dust. I think I did, but I didn't see it. Cutting so many corners. back to doing that badly. Okay. It's actually hard to clean that dust and get the slope boost there, huh? at this point. I'm not sure it did. Technically did. Ah! Alright. we go again. For a not bad time. With no obvious time loss.
That was kind of slow, but maybe it's still good enough. GG. I was so bad at the end, man. All I need to do is just get a beginning so clean that, like, even if I fuck up the ending, it doesn't matter, right? And yet... doing before I think I was light attacking it right oh it's probably faster why am I The, problem, the real problem is that I'm actually fucking addicted to this game, right? It feels so good when I go fast in this game that I don't want to- I don't want to do anything else. I start playing it. fast, right? I'm so mad. It's always the one, it's always the one tile worth of dust, right? a decent save. Maybe it's not, I'm not gonna look at the timer, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 4-11, four, four okay, we take those, we take those. Once again, oh, that's cool. Cool. 
Uh, let's see. As cool as that is, that actually probably saved. That's probably one of the threats that saved the least time over what I did, just because you're you don't get to keep that speed for very long. Okay, that's what I was trying to do, but I fucked it up every time I went for it. Oh, okay. Like that. It's the same, like, the same three players in the top three, same top three or four players. I probably could. I don't feel like doing it today. Curious what I, uh, curious where are some of the other top 500 players save two seconds on me. Ghosts on here. You watch it happen live. Boost. Guess that's not that surprising. Hmm, that's definitely still faster than what I was doing, huh? I don't know why I thought you had to actually attack him. This is just a wasted. Oh! <laughs> well, okay. Guys, beginning is cracked. We let this new player catch up with him here. Super actually does kind of just give you a free second, doesn't it? Free second or two. Free second or two on the obvious mistakes. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's not free. It's not free to get your super back right at the end though like you have to super in a place that leaves you enough dust left to collect to get your super on the ceiling over to the left that's interesting i could play around with it more oh well good session good session got some cool pbs today look at my newest um my newest aisles, 215, 298, 460, 409. That's pretty good. Ha happy with the play today. <clears throat> Funny that I was just doing this for like a meme while I let my brain prepare for the rigors of chapter 9, the last. Oh, 
Going fun is just way too... Going, going fast is just way too fun, honestly. It just feels... This game just feels so good to play all the time. Makes me want to maybe give the... Actually try to have a good time at every level thing. A bit more of a serious shot, but... I don't know when I would do that with all the other things I want to play. Oh well. Cool, I should I should do this I should do this more often than I have been. Most happy about being able to just scroll through this and see a bunch of good scores. I guess this one's kind of bad, but still top 500. This has even put me on the uh, rankings now. Wonder. Puts me like near top 500, not bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch games now. Um, I'm gonna switch to The Witcher 3 now. So, you were here for the Dust Force. Thanks for stopping by. It was fun. I put Super Smash Bros. Melee on the other screen because that game's cool and based. And I'm going to go go ahead and take a stretch break, too. So you are departing the stream now. Thanks for stopping by. If you've been waiting all day for The Witcher 3, your, um, your personal hell starts now. And I guess I'll BRB.
Okay, hello to everyone who's still here. Oh, Zane versus Pluff is starting. Did I change shirts? No. Maybe you just didn't notice my shirt before. 
I don't want to play The Witcher 3. I want to watch Zane vs. Plup. Good thing I have two monitors, so bad. Now let me, uh, I'm just gonna let the, uh, I'm gonna let some dialogue play out here, you know, maybe, uh, go start a quest. You guys can watch the, uh, you guys can watch the quest dialogue while I, uh, while I have a good time watching, watching two of the best to do it play. Now knew that to find Siri, he would first need to oh, it's been Dandelion narrating? I see. It makes sense. Don't worry, I'm paying attention. Uh, yeah. That was an interesting, um... Interesting dream for the first part of the day. Had, um, for anyone who wasn't correlating the names, had a lot of really strong players in chat. You know? Imagine if I had, like, the best Gwent player in the UK in my Twitch chat right now. It'd be like that. You know? Can't be Mitesh, she plays on normal. Well, I didn't say... I didn't say a name. You're the one that said a name and pinged him. I didn't say a name, I just said, imagine if I had the best Gwent player in the UK in the chat, like, giving me tips, right? That's all I said. You really, you know, Great Yogi, you can never come to NA because you're gonna get fucking entrapped by like the entire, any, every single person you talk I to. I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan. What is it? Our no, I meant so uh, I meant uh, cop. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. So how do you enter find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the doctor, the question's never where, but his home. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... Game on on Battlefield. This time he hasn't returned. Lane looks prepared for the Sheik matchup, which makes sense because he has Plop, Lef, and NJ Mook here. And JFlex, actually. He's got he's got four Sheik players to practice for the sixteen man tournament. No one do long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. I see, he's a cuties fan. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Do you do not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than Damn based. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynolds' troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings. Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. That's that tech chain. Certainly could have counted on. That's the big. That could be. That could be the game right there. So if these mummers. So then, even if he'd hit that. We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. That's that's really costly. Dudu and the mummers. How they meet. That was my doing. Mm. It's an opening night. Well, that's to really outplay him now. Wardrobe, drunk as an otter. I thought of Dudu. 
gods are not in a better actor than a doctor. And do do review himself mm. just like that. I didn't think it was. Wow, okay. But do do and Irina took to each other completely and right away. They ain't so good. He fell so hopelessly in love with the They ain't so good. I started performing with you. Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use this is just straight up for first place in the group since both these players are too low. I'm out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play from scratch. Something grand, something that will grab Cat jam. Attention. What are you cat jamming to? Do you have the uh do you have melee on too? Are you cat jamming to the dreamland theme? You're not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Better than this song, that's for sure. Doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Ever who? All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping. The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. I think I need to go put my pasta in the water, but I don't want to get up and leave this Super Smash Bros. Melee match I'm immersed in. Doppler manages to fool him, but now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm. What do you think? We're making a play about Geralt Tesh. Oh. Uh, what happened, guys? I got up for a second and Plup is winning. Solidly, still. Anyone, anyone want to catch me up on what happened on the last two stocks or so? Sounds great. A thing happened? I don't know, someone lost a stock. of the Urchin of Erlenmeade. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Povera. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendid. Well, Zane's playing so defensive, this stock. You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Wow, they've really played very well this stuff. You must admit, wow. I'm not acquainted with the theater. 
naturally your that was that was really rough contribute to the work as a whole dandelion will explain how it works later we need a good time we need a good title so we can rule out the witcher 3 wild hunt perhaps you can choose gonna consider my opinion this time of course we're partners in this i'm just in charge of two really good ones the Doppler's salvation and the changeling rescued or the witch's triumph which do you prefer let's go with the Doppler's salvation it's shorter catchier just one problem. Hmm. no Doppler's in that story just you know honestly Fatar would Fatar would just straight up ban you for making this many unfunny jokes for Yuka the message that's what's important a witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter, listen. Merely decide, and I'll get to work. Then comedy is the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. Sounds like a good edge turn. Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Oh, food? Wow, it's me. It's me enjoying the plot of The Witcher 3. Had I a bit more time, but. We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you leave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. Lane's playing so good. Lane's playing like he's the number one player in the world. By a scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure, you know where to find her. The troop performs in the butcher's. Any here still? Way. Join us later. See ya. Now it's actually a little unfortunate. I'm not sure if Vinny has ever watched a. Uh, I I have no means by which to tell if Vinny watches streams muted or unmuted. That's true, he has no badge, and everyone uses the badges very seriously. Someone raid channel early? Ah, uh, Fat Fap did. No, the new the new viewers, Shatando, are people like. If you look at the category on Twitch, I was the only Dust Force streamer. Okay, I was the only one. Yeah, they're just Dust Force fans, which is fine. Like, I having. People who are also good at the game there to talk with made it entertaining for me. Got some good tips. Some parts. That's comfy. That's where community is full of cool people too, like the, it's a good community in my opinion. The Yakuza 3 fans were, um, less nice. Wow, 3 0 plup. I think they might just win this thing.
Well, for Metroid Prime fans at least, there's um... Metroid Prime has a pretty active speedrunning scene. Like it's um, there's Metro. There's a Metroid Prime randomizer. There's people. There's people who um. Like, the, th the thing is that, like, for a lot of these speedrun games, right, like, there's multiple, there's multiple people who stream, who stream their world record attempts often, and, and here's the important thing, you have to record your runs to submit anyway, right? In Dust Force, you can you can just you can just save a replay. It saves your replays automatically. Madam Arena, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back. So it's pretty it's pretty rare that there's any stream activity in Dust Force. He'll be understand. Also, yes, I was not very kind to Yakuza 3. Game was not very good. I did not think very highly of Yakuza 3. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Well, like someone someone's response to that was basically the game's not that bad, you're just an asshole. Got to contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Um, here's what happens in the plot since you don't like it so much. Can I count on you? Naturally. Like it, it'd be like if you um, <laughs> if you if you got mad that I was playing on death, I wasn't playing on Death March anymore. So you decided to spoil the part where Geraldo and Dandelion ride off into the sunset together to go reenact Brokeback Mountain at the end of this game. Spoiled that plot detail for me. Because I was mad, I was not playing on Death March anymore. I didn't like Death March. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well. Draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play. And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from. Sleep. Also, when you say you only bought Zero, Yakuza Zero is, in my opinion, the only Yakuza game that like. I would actually tell people you have to play it or else um would you mind or else you're missing out like irrespective of their preference of game genre and story I think Yakuza 0 is just is just that good How can I help you spread the word about the premiere Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the public. I think there's some really good things about Yakuza Kiwami 2 and Yakuza 4. I think there's some really good parts of Yakuza Kiwami 2 and Yakuza 4. So I haven't given up on the series, but I also think it's probably kind of overrated. And the, uh, the, um, the series as a whole overall is kind of weak got kind of weak at a certain point. Anyway, my food's done cooking, so I'll BRB again. Unfortunately, Melee's in a break, so I won't miss anything important.
But um, going back to the Twitch viewer thing specifically, like um, you might not notice if you're just a regular viewer. You're not a. You haven't streamed as many hours as I have, but. There are basically two kinds of viewers, right? Like, there's people who want to come into a stream and interact with the streamer. They're here and they want to talk to the streamer, ask the streamer how their day is, tell the streamer about their day. Tell the streamer they're not immersed enough, they're, they need to... Thanks for helping. They need to pay attention to the game and not to not to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Alright. And then there's people who basically what they want to do is they want to watch The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is their favorite game and they just every single day they want to watch The Witcher 3. They will literally open twitch.tv go to the category find the person that looks the like they're that's at a part of the game they like the most they will just open the stream and start typing about the witcher 3. okay I know you are, but in general, like, you can expect to see these two different kinds of viewers, right? The reason there were all these new viewers in chat today is because 100% of the people who are, like, in that category of people for Dust Force basically only had here to hang out. Granted, the number of people who were like that, who were online this morning, and didn't like, didn't want to watch, didn't like, hate the stream and turn it off immediately, or you, you know, didn't click on the stream because they saw a webcam or what have you. Number of those people was evidently like five, but it was still like, it was still a comfy stream and all this. No, uh, no hate, right? I still had a good time. They had a, they had a good time. Hopefully, we're all, we're all happy here. The guy who spoiled Yakuza Three was one of those guys, but for Yakuza Three, evidently, which you know, lol, right? My favorite game is fucking trash. Tune. Damn sad though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Ah, uh, he's banned, so he can't type. I banned that guy's ass. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered, thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Niece is on edge these days. We all are. I mean to stop juggling while you're talking to me? Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Maria's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about... Holy Hemelfart, who is faith in Nords, gorges himself, diddles in whores. Fatso's gang has been harassing mm. us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs in the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me. But, um. Said they round off our pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators. The thing, the thing that people don't. Lurking outside our home. Realize as viewers is like if you're a streamer and you turn a game on and there's five to ten of those, I'm only here for X game because I saw you in the category viewers, and you switch games, those people are gone. 
Say I get unless you like hook them and they decide to be your bud. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Become friends with them. But you shall find Outside the context of the game, those people are gone. I'm not a great talker anyway. So if you're trying, if your priority is growing your stream, it's probably best to um. Farm a specific category. <clears throat> so you're the ones. Oh, I, so. I choose not to <coughs> because I value having variety in my life. Like, I, I enjoy playing different games at once. Leave the puffins alone. Free XP. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? Black magic. He's a fucking witch. Get him! Oh no! Free XP and then free XP for fucking killing them? Well, the problem with that girl, Yuka, is that finishing Celeste at this point is like. It's like four months of grinding, right? It was nothing. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Eternal fire. Oh yeah, I mean... I'm not- I don't do what Infinite does. Like, I don't keep multiple... I don't, like, stream a single-player game for two hours and switch to a different single-player game for three hours and then... the next night play a third single-player game. I don't do that. But it's still a- it's still enough to, um... drive away most of the people who... join the stream. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, your jewel preaching will just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witchers? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer. Wow, the consequences of my action. I'm fucking immersed, guys. Let's fucking go. I'm immersed. I'm underwater. But, um, yeah, that is, that is what Infinite does. Infinite actually once got raided by the Dust Force community channel on Twitch. He got raided by the entire Dust Force community. Like 90 people. How many of those people do you think still have this channel followed? Probably. But you know, it's cool. Cool. My point is you don't think about these things if you're not a streamer yourself. Like if you're not actually thinking about how you would grow a stream, you don't really, you don't really think about these things. 
But when I'm giving my perspective as a streamer, that's what I, that's one of the ways I think about it. Hello there. Ten out of ten game, game of the year, most immersive game ever. Yeah, it's like it's just, it's the difference between having one one or two streams be really fun and having like every stream be fun no matter what you're playing, right? Someone like Sing Sing can have fun playing literally any game because his because his chat will be memeing and making puns in the donation messages and all this. Whether he's playing fucking Garfield Kart or Dota 2, it doesn't matter. You know, unfortunately for a streamer, for actually streaming a game to be fun, you kind of do need viewers talking with you. You guys really from Nilfgaard? Yeah, but he still has, like, the people that type all the time there. The people who love the stream are all going to be there. The South will rise again! Hey, Kona. Staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually, want you to usher, keep the peace, make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking's what we do. Uh oh. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of money. Failed Roma. Still need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Oh no. It's an on your edge cyberpunk stream reference. Against the two any dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double the wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special lined up! I'm immersed. He's, he's just letting me do this. He just watched. He just watched his friend get hit. I'm immersed, guys. I think Chitando wins on the streets of Brazil. It's more like you and Matash on the streets of Brazil. Oh, this groupie matchup is really important. That's sweet beat HBox.
So we could end with a tiebreaker scenario. I think I favor H-Box in the tiebreaker. Interesting. Definitely what I meant to do, game. Play mod check. All right, well, we did everything we were supposed to do. Think. Oh, she's acting all right. Look at her. Fucking Daniel Day-Lewis's daughter out here. <laughs> ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help you do, but we may have something very... Hey, Ralph is winning. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Let's talk about the princess, guys. So... About the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Hmm. Is this an FF6 opera scene reference? If you're typing in my chat, you better get the FF6 opera scene reference. Or else, Chitanda will ban you. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Well, if you... if, um... So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be if uh, Chitando decides to shoot, then I have I have no I can't I can't save you. Captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober. Or that oh, Ralph takes game one. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, you're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you as well. You're a member of the ensemble. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to trust that Chitando knows what I'm thinking without me saying it. Who is playing the Witcher? That's why he's head mod. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troop. He knows what this is a reference to. He knows if you don't get it, what needs to happen. He knows. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepare to put <clears throat> along into your career as a mama. Don't read Goryuka's mod comments, by the way. Working on it. Still need to learn my lines. Has anyone told me my lines? One who knows an entire best tree by heart and can blend dozens of alchemical. Have we have we been given a single time to a single chance to learn our lines? 
Any lines mod check? I for inventory. No, I've got it. L for lines. Yes. Cheating? Who's cheating? Not me. I'm not cheating. I've never cheated a day in my life. Oh, it's actually covering up my Super Smash Bros. Melee from the Nintendo GameCube. Alright, I need to hurry up and do this play then. I want you to role play and practice. You, uh, you talk an awful big talk for someone who, uh, isn't subscribed to the channel. I'm not, I don't want those back. I'm not dressing up as a Nilf Guardian again. Ah, there you are. You any closer to being ready for this premiere? Halberdier number two is in the props room crying. Apart from that, it's going splendidly. And you? <laughs> are you ready? Have you, have you not been reading the tags? All right, let's start. I want to get this over with. Everyone says so before their first time. Afterwards, it's impossible to drag them off the stage. You'll see. You'll love it. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> As they told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought well, it's a good thing you didn't read my tag when I was playing Bayonetta 3. Tell me, my chum. You want to wear hose at a codpiece? Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. It's titled The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Oh, they love Priscilla. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Hmm, I wonder who the Doppler could be here as. Could it possibly be the cat? Majesty, Maybe he's the chair. The Maybe he's the chair and he's hoping Priscilla will sit on him. Stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. Hmm. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling. Not just to get paid. <laughs> he swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. 
the monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least, ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Mm, yes, yes. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Couldn't they have played some less forgettable music over this play, though? I don't know if I'll be able to remember this play scene. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Imposter? Sus! Among Us? I can't believe this game predicted Among Us. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. Heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. I mean, he just clipped into another guy's arm piece. I'm not immersed anymore. I'm I'm tapping back into melee. GG, it's over. Remove the traitor at once. Flip it. Flip it and ship it. Come up here. Stage. Toss the tray, I storm in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Alright, standing ovation. You sure the cat wasn't the Doppler? We just didn't like drag some random guy up here. I don't know guys. Maybe maybe we need to reload save. Maybe we actually fucked it up. Geralt, you recognize me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir horson left on your face. 
So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease... Oh, we made Zoltan happy. Okay, I'm, I'm okay as long as we made Zoltan happy. Zoltan's my bro. That is the only legitimate Witcher gamer here who has played Witcher 1, 2, and 3. Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? I'm a big Zoltan fan. a few performances, different shape each time. But I dared not show myself, feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mummy, saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsens to get... We'll talk after the DLCs are done. I, I mean... Her, wanting to keep up, but it ought have been a hindrance. She called out Did you not see the meta where we're going to stop after the DLCs and play, uh... Tried to find them. Play Dust Force only on Saturdays after we do the main quest. Did you not get the memo? I sent it out to all my loyal viewers. Maybe I think there's a problem with the uh, with the list, email list. Yeah. Uh, Angry Box versus J Muck. Pain. Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Of you staring at me, bug eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandy, how could I be angry with Zoltan? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Dead. I don't even understand. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed him. Like, for, for better or for worse. Take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to right? Like, but a feeling it however, happens. however you want to, uh, however you want to keep score. Within the context of the games, the two people, probably, who helped Geralt the most without question when his memory was, when he just lost his memory, were probably Dandelion and Zoltan. If they're the ones who are like, like, we'll do whatever we need to do for you, like, to just helping without question. They're the real bros. So as someone whose first exposure to the Witcher world was as a girl who didn't know what the fuck he was doing, I love Zoltan and Dandelion. Because... Putting my role playing as Geralt, they seemed like the most friendly and helpful people. Chris and Shani like kind of manipulate you a bit. Spring dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where dandelion's being held. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the Do you not know who Shani is? Is Shani not in uh, Witcher 3? I don't think she is actually. I regret not seeing that. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find. Shani's a uh, Shani's a healer, like a healer mage. With ties to girls' past. I guess one of the two main romance options of Witcher One. Not part of like the witch's cabal though, or whatever. She's arguably less manipulative towards Geralt, but she's basically um. 
She wants Geralt to like... Essentially, essentially what she wants from Geralt is she wants him to like... Oh, you lost your memory. Well, calm down and let's... Uh, let's stop getting involved in all these political situations and take care of this kid that has weird visions and stuff, right? Like, that's what she wants. That's what she wants from Geralt. She's less manipulative about it, but she also, like, if you don't give her exactly what she wants, she's like, yeah, this probably isn't for the best. See you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue... And no matter what options you choose as the player, there is no there is no scenario in which that kid's fate and Geralt, like, taking care of him ends well. So you ba basically not ending up with Shani is the canon option. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? But you can try, right? You can you can try not to upset her. I'm just pleased that It's probably my preferred way of playing the story. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimal. But, you know, Triss is basically, like, trying to... Tr Triss goes back to, we used to go do all this stuff together. Here, help me fool the king. I want the king to be on my good side. Let's go. Let's go help the king. Let's go hobnob it up at a political party. Triss goes right back to that, like, as soon as... As soon as you're interacting with her. So from my limited perspective, based on Geralt having lost his memory and all this, you know, like that's that's how I see these characters, right? I have the Geralt doesn't have his memories and you have to decide how to interpret their actions based on how based on how they talk to you and all this, right? Part of the role playing. <laughs> but um that's why I react the way I do to these characters like people people are really quick to play up you not needing to experience these other games in the series when in reality i feel quite the opposite that um by having decided to experience them has given me a unique and interesting perspective So, you know, uh, am I explaining myself correctly? Like, it feel it feel what it feels like sometimes. Is it feels like people just I'm just talking, and there's no there's no rationale that comes across to other viewers. About why I would react to these characters in a specific way. But this is this is how I have experienced the world of The Witcher. Amex actually playing really well. Hmm. What other side quests do I have? I have a feeling. Oh. Uh, I don't know, I've got a bunch of side quests now. Well, yeah, but that's the thing, right? Like, everyone has this, um... There's this big, like, Reddit hive mind opinion about these games, where it, about these characters, where it's like, oh, if you've read the book and you know, like, 
you know, Triss is a manipulative bitch, actually, and it's okay to, like, be mean to her in the game, and yada, 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 right? It's like... I don't really care about those takes, necessarily, right? Like, I'm... I'm trying to I'm trying to role play as a character arc here because that's how I decided I wanted to experience these games and not very helpful to my experience to to like not very helpful to my experience to Treat the characters this way, right? To think of the characters in these terms. Am I am I impressed with Triss's character as as a player of the games? Not particularly, right? Like I I can see the argument for why you might think she's doesn't always have Geralt's best interests in mind. There's certainly an argument to be made there. But all I can, all I'm really all I really want to do is just um enjoy the characters as presented in the game. I don't need this I don't need this metagamey not so fast room. Metagamey, book characterization, net Netflix show characterization, all this stuff. I don't. I, it doesn't. It doesn't serve me. It doesn't do me any good. Oi, mate! You've got a Novigrad license. They seem desperate. Let him through. Oi, mate. Open hell! Gonna miss the gonna miss the footy. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay I mean, so is gold. What? What? What kind of? What kind of? You would be as careful as hares in a field bare by winter. But you... Like, I don't, I don't know, what do you want exactly, Goryuka, huh? How is this, how is this any better or worse than, like, I looted five caves and now I can just give you gold to solve the problem? Like, gold is a cheap button and violence is a cheap button too. They're all equally cheap buttons, it's just one of them doesn't cost any, any meta resources. Doesn't hurt you later on. It has no opportunity cost. Game has enough things with opportunity cost. Wasting my fucking time all the time. Stupid ass fucking game. Let's go. Seems everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier than thou bug of skulls, but uh, he's, he's he's scared. Doppler, uh, that was a good rest. Uh, release dandelion and, and, and be done with it. Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion. Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stay mm. sitting at home. Are you gonna get backstabbed here? Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his cabot. That was a good rest. Presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. 
It's always so hard because it's like I'll watch I'll watch J Muck grind out a set where he like wins neutral like sixty percent of the time or something, and then he'll get rested twice, and it's like you're actually getting fucking owned if you get rested twice, even if you win neutral neutral more often. One condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. There may be some time before it does. Well, if you're, about a game yeah, of man. Fine, we'll play one game of Gwent today. Uno, uno, Gwent. All you get, though. I'm, I'm done with Gwent after this. Oh fuck, she's got Scoia top cards. We lost. We lost. GG. <laughs> when has when has a friendly game of Gwent ever spoiled my spoiled my mood on the game, huh? Game one time. I wouldn't get my mood spoiled just because, um, because I wanted to play a friendly game of Gwen and my opponent had 15 hero cards and 20 spies. And whatever the fuck this guy does. Fucking liar, Goryuka, and you're lying. And yet... I got so fucking lucky. She doesn't have another plus 10 euro card. Yeah, nice, uh, nice game. Again, 
Uh, didn't it didn't do anything. Draws out an impenetrable fog card. Oh no! I can't play another game. Oh no! I'm so sad. I was immersed, but now I can't play any more Gwent, guys. I'm sorry. It's such a shame that I'm never gonna play Gwent again as long as I live. I could have been watching, I could have watched uh, this JMUG versus HBOX game 4, which apparently JMUG somehow won. Was BPI. Someone shout in chat when uh, something happens in the game. I'm watching uh, Melee now. Game 5. Better not be a horse chase. Why is this why are they playing forgettable last music here, huh? I don't wanna I don't wanna listen to this forgettable music. The batter dodge. Fox is fishing for the uh, drill and dot smash. Confirm. I guess it works this early on battlefield. It's a really tense game. I'm I'm, imp I'm really impressed that Jane Luck stays in this in these. I got a kill while I was changing direction. Doesn't get rested, he has a shot. Just don't get rested. Don't get slept on by Witcher 3 fans. Don't fall asleep because you're playing Gwent, the most boring card game in the world. That was a good combo. 50%. I love losing to RNG. What do you mean? It's my favorite thing in the world. How could my mood be ruined when I just lost because the opponent happened to have better cards than me? I didn't talk to the... I didn't... Jeremy explaining how go talk to the innkeeper in town number 53. How could my mood possibly be ruined by this? Hoofprints. The last stock. Oh, getting comboed. There's no jump. Off stage. Oh, this is bad. Wow. And did he say anything important? I wasn't paying attention. I was watching HBox pop off.
fog is trash. I mean, the fog is trash. I just don't know what the other... I don't know what the other abilities do, so I don't really care, right? Like what? What are even are my other abilities here, huh? X. Doubles the strength of all your siege units. And sure, this is this is better. Sure, whatever. I'll switch. I'll I'll use that next next week when I play Gwent, my weekly game of Gwent. Hmm. Looks like it might have started limping. Yeah, it could. It could. <clears throat> but again, I'm going to say what I've said this whole time, which is that I don't really, I don't really care to, like, go talking to every shopkeep and all this, right? I don't really care to do all this. What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut. Turned us out where we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him? Tall. I don't enjoy Gwent enough to do anything difficult in order to. So hunters barricaded himself inside. In order to. Truth be told, there is. Be allowed to play Gwent. Where's this other way in? Aren't you curious? It's an ordinary tunnel back way out in case of trouble. We don't let like, you know how some people like they encounter even the smallest amount of resistance to doing something and they just say, nope, I'm not doing it. Basically, basically like that, right? Wanna get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? It's the old it was just there and like just play just playing random people. I was likely to have a deck on par with theirs. Like they gave me a starter deck that was pretty Thanks. good. And not this fucking trash shit piece of cock deck that like can't win anything and I have to work in RNG and grind out to you know I, I'm just I'm not willing to Play all these games versus people with a bad deck in order to be allowed to have a good deck eventually. I don't care. So I don't care enough. Like the privilege of paying Gwent isn't the reward. Playing Gwent isn't the reward for me. I only I only in it for the money or whatever rare. You know, the plus the plus three. The plus three, um, plus three, uh, plus three stamina, plus three percent sign, sign effectiveness. Um, like boots or whatever I, I, I can get for finishing the quest. Oh, he, he just, he parries on the second hit, huh? A way to, way to, way to make a fun combat encounter, huh? Hey, don't, don't, uh, don't make fun of the Dust Force community, okay?
I think it's a community meme anyway, right? Like, they, um... I think it's just what people... I think it's just what people who don't know what the game usually say, right? I think people who don't know what the game is just... Come into the... Come into the stream and just tell... Just say this game looks cool all the time. No, I had a good time. Best Force community is really nice. Cool people. I had them just where I wanted them. We were, uh, you know, we were making, we were making Aru anticipate his, uh, his time playing the game. I'm sure. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Are you all right? You have me worried sick. Also, most of the, most or all of the people who showed up and um, talked were like top 100 level players, so you know. Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Well, I mean, Siri, I thought seeing how you're here. The the unfortunate part is the play the play we watched was like we were comparing strats on a one minute long level. And so we watched we watched like five different replays, and it was it was obvious it was obvious in a lot of parts that one one strat was faster than another, right? So we watched the one guy's replay, and it was just like, hmm, well, this is kind of slow. All these other replays have been doing this, and it's like, yeah. Given more time, I'd have done things differently. But Siri said the wild hunt was on her tail. Orson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. Damn, I wish I was you, Matesh. It can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. Oh yeah, there's college football on now too, by the way. We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. I'm gonna probably put that on... I have to like switch tabs or something. Uh... This uh, football game is extremely hyped. Oh no! I don't give a single fuck about UFC. This is not a UFC chat. UFC sucks. Uh, can I not go through the door? Door log check. Hello. I actually have to kill these guys. If this was uh, this was Death March, I would have died for this tomfoolery. But you know, I'm glad I'm not on Death March. Game would fucking suck if I was on Death March. I don't even know what I don't even know what button the adrenaline like super poggers move is bound to. I do not even I do not even know what what key that is bound to. Well, Dandelion, you know, he really is just the best, the best bro. Yeah, 
He tried. Ah, what an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Hbox is SDIing up through affairs again. This is dangerous. Nothing at all. He hasn't been uh he hasn't been SDIing those consistently since he was a top three player in the world. That all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. You miss. You get it from Orson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Orson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Orson's dead. Ooh. Guess you're no Sorry, I'm watching uh, I'm watching Hbox uh, Camp Ledge for 15 minutes here. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. Watching Hbox hold hold still in Camp Ledge for so his opponent runs to ledge where he where he has a clear advantage. He's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson. Why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Orson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, well, he had access to the mages, all right, if you know what I mean. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it? She tell you? I saw it was in his room. Willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. Is this game really about finding Siri, or is it just about all the people you run into while you're finding Siri? Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself probably not to forget went like this Befile Elaine Kiadmil Foli Gladiv Don Ep Tanaid Bundro Isne Iakas Doesn't mean a thing to me Me neither girl me neither Don't worry we're in the same boat you and me Damn it that's just not enough Siri say anything else Didn't say much at all to be honest Geralt She's no longer that little girl who ran around Care Morin. No sure, shit. She's still impulsive, alive. But she's also Hip squeaks so fucking mad. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree. He's gonna get third place in the group for, because right. of this. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to Apparently Plep is saying something funny and I can't listen to it. Looking into traces she thinks Siri I'm listening to this uh, forgettable music in the background. Skellige. While we talk to Dandelion. Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. I was getting tag teamed by Priscilla and well, Zoltan. I certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I know. We haven't seen each other, talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Kondo's getting whipped feels bad, man. It's gonna be like Goryuka when Goryuka was in his, uh... Goryuka was in his, uh, fiancé arc. Uh... Wine boys, wine boys. See, yes, very, very cool quest name. Free him from the lava. I don't think he's ever getting freed from the lava. That lava has him forever. I missed the yo. Oh, no, I need, I need to tab out and check this actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> oh boy, someone save my man, please. He he needs a hero. Any 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 heroes in Twitch chat? <laughs> any any uh and we got a lifeline to throw for but for your boy. Cause he he needs one right now. Oops, illegal audio. I'm gonna leave it on melee for now though. All right, what do we want to do now? I guess we're done with the Novigrad quest line for now, except, you know, this shit. Got DLC quests. I guess we'll um, clean up the quests that are lower level than us. I understand. <laughs> Damn. Oh, fuck, he chained off stage. That's not good. The game losing play. Late look back up in this bitch. Alright, well, let's just go in level order here. Here we go. Visit the haunted house again. Let's go visit the haunted house again, guys. You know, I think I think there's a lot of cool things to do at the haunted house again. He was ready for that tech. Ready for that ASDI down or whatever it was he did. ASD down into roll, maybe? Buffered roll. He's adapted to Hbox's defensive play really well. He's so good. Matchup is just so hopeless. Geek. I don't even know why he keeps trying to win. It's like watching Matesh trying to win the Terami versus S matchup. Like even if you do fluke out a win once or twice, like have you can you really ever turn this around? It's just so it's just so Murray. Moody Moody. Well you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Likes having her hair pulled. The way people the way people use it like this is like um Once you told me, like wasted effort. Like in, in context that's what that's what most English speakers would mean by it anyway. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say you'll be watching a world record level Toho player who's Japanese. I'll just type Moody in chat. 
when like something seems hopeless when something to mean something is like hopeless for them because it's too hard that's the context in which i'm saying it he's trying so hard uh, oh what the fuck all right free xp we're walking to the house Recommended level, level 7, by the way. Last stock. Who's ready for that if he put shield up? Wolta. Uh. Did you buy a Wolta license, though? Oi, mate, you got a license for that, Wolta. Uh. Oh, this is so close. This is tense. I can't even look at the Witcher. I can't look away from this. Ah! Uh, oh, he was ready for that. Oh, he was ready for that. Oh, fuck. That's probably game one. Damn. Rough for J-Muck. Played that. He played that game really well. He has to win a game on Dreamland to win this tiebreaker. He just lost his first stock with no percent taken. Probably over. Unfortunately for Pipsqueak, Jmook's probably just gonna come and kick his ass after this, and Pipsqueak's gonna be third in his group after beating Hbox in round robin, which sucks for him. you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Don't be scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city. Mm, could he have done something different there? I'm not sure. If you don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then. Some other bloke's already after it. When'd you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. Lying in oh, he was ready for that. That's a cool adaptation. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the body. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Isolated victim to the contract. Didn't see the man. He was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks. So long. Hmm. All right. Let's go examine the crime scene using Batman's detective vision. I mean, my Witcher senses. Vampire. 
Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to swim across or like. I guess I'm just going to swim across the other side and look for where the tracks pick up. Surely they pick up over here. This has to be it, right? Uh... Oh no, it's a thing. It can use it can use series attack. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Wolf, Matesh W. Gerald Tesh. You never liked the city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. I don't remember him being in previous games. But we'll talk about that later. Then. You can Google it if you want. I don't remember this guy, but I also don't remember a lot of the side content. Side characters. Let's go. Not the ones who aren't like main characters, involved in the main plot as much. So, what do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here. I'll go see the supervisor. Get your reward. Do that ourselves. That's true. That's you should abandon your post. Mm. True. Mm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Each box is going to see dive. When do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witch. Okay, never mind. Each box is goaded. Each box is the goat. Which chapter of the Witcher one is he in, though? Like, what does he do? What part of the game is he from? There's something I gotta know. I do not know. Like if he's in the part where you're in the city, then you talk to like a million people. Before I lose my temper, where's Yad carried him? Asking you for the last time. Maybe he's at the party you go to with the king and Triss. He can bonk the princess. I just don't know, right? Wait, did he just dip on me? He just, he just fucking leave? You need me to set these poor innocent men on fire? They for looking at me the wrong way? Oh, oh. You see, um, I uh, don't remember the beginning of the Witcher one very well. Like you, you get you get like tutorial and tutorial Andied to death, and then you fight some monster, and the combat's boring. 
And then Triss is like, what up? You don't remember me? By the way, we have sex all the time. And then your journey starts. He probably is if he's from Karamoran. Yes, Giga Chad. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The tavern of the end frequents. Yeah, see you later. I mean, I, I unironically do think Witcher 1 is better than Witcher 2. Might not even be that close either. I guess there's a reason for the awkward gameplay elements of uh, of Witcher One. Have better crossbow. It's so it's so much better. I literally can't use it. Well, Witcher 2 is... Witcher 2 is really hard. It's bullshit, okay? With the Witcher 2's combat is fucking bullshit, alright? It is. Right, it's really bad. I played it on stream, like you guys saw me, like I me with a very important mug. What do you want? Nim's mugs. Frost and mugs. Need your help in a grave matter. Yeah, you do like no damage. What's this great? You get, you get like two shot by any boss or quest enemy. Like it's just no fun. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smash the bottle of the finest water. The, the most effective thing to do is to like Rush all the side quests so you have money. Be brief. And then go do the main quest when you're like overgeared and basically can't die and spam Clen. That's the most effective way to play Witcher 2. It is no fun. I don't work for free. You could not pay me to replay the Witcher 2 to see the see the, like the story branch I didn't do. I would rather I would rather watch watch it on YouTube. Then accept money to play that part of the game again. Fine. See what I can do. It's very bad. Maybe my last chance. Maybe I can uh. just go and I and I can and I contribute a lot of the uh I contribute I attribute a lot of the th reason people are like but like guys, the Witcher 3 gameplay is Witcher gameplay is good now, guys. They finally made the gameplay good. Because like it's like let's let's say let's say hypothetically, okay, that like every day at 10 o'clock AM, some guy walks into whatever room you're in and just like kicks the shit out of your balls, okay? Like he just he hates you, he's got like a pointy toed boot, and like he just he's just yamming on yamming on you, okay? And let's let's say that like two years later, you know, some guy comes in and instead of instead of kicking you in the balls, like he just puts on a glove and just slaps you in the face once or twice, right? So like you're talking to your friends and your only way of contextualizing is to go, yeah, getting slapped in the face feels way better, honestly. I'm I'm glad I'm not getting kicked in the balls anymore. <clears throat> That's what people who say the Witcher 3 gameplay is good feel like to me. Like, you know, you're just, um...
right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's I mean, story? obviously I don't think it like completely fucking ruins the game or else like I wouldn't um Let me hear the whole thing. I would have stopped playing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract but, uh, from the ogre of the land. I find I find people I find people like who complain about the gameplay of the first two games and then act like this one is better to be disingenuous. It's it's clear it's clear that there's a few real nagging points. It's clear it's clear that there's a few nagging points of like annoyance and like bullshittery that they just never took out of the game. As far as I remember, like they just this this just a core part of the Witcher experience is being bullshit constantly. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down, the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still. No comparison. But, you know, like, since I don't see... I don't see Booba and think game is good automatically. What happened to him? I'm like, Sometimes hey, maybe this stuff isn't... Maybe this stuff is kind of sus and we need to not have it in the game. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. But you know the uh, the Reddit crowd. As soon as as soon as there were naked people in the bath in the opening scene, they were like, "Game is ten out of 10. Curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. Gamers love it. Gamers loved it as soon as as soon as there were naked hot people in the beginning of the game in the opening scene. Yeah, Carradine. The assassin's leader and the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. What do you want? We want to see Yad Keridin. <laughs> 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 it's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your oh, yeah, I'm stars. sad now. We'll I guess I'm as over. Manga ended this past week. Really bittersweet. I was part of Caradin's band, but where was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. The word around town really has changed. Honestly, I'm happy with the uh, way it developed and the ending they chose overall. I didn't fumble the bag like a lot of romance stories would. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Something big. I'm a fan. Who else was in Keridin's band? Definitely Sorry. ends up being one of my favorite manga ever. Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Chester. A brothel, Matash flushed. I'm in. Or suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel. The Black Lily. Celise always did have horrible taste. 
We need information about Hammond. Paradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even He's a pirate. Du -du 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 Better music than uh, Witcher 3, by the way. Pirates of the Caribbean. Good shit. On Zimmer. I played that in a concert band once. Very cool. Nobody ever said, actually, when I was in band, hey, let's play music from The Witcher, guys. No one said that, because no one could remember any songs from The Witcher, even if we did play them. But I was never good enough for Karadin. He always preferred that cunt's ears. You have a hand in the Nice, nice. He dropped it. Fourth down. Let's go. Perhaps. I don't remember. People didn't play That's not true. Hi, my people in my section in band were talking about games all the time. They just liked uh, Call of Duty and Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Borderlands. Shit like that. And like The Witcher. No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Arseholes. No way. Best thing will be to split up. You sail the Skellige. Yeah, I actually got that ball. Up. What the fuck? I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Salise. No way. Ah, uh, the guy watched him. I don't. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary It didn't bounce out of ground. Help. It didn't bounce on the ground out of bounds. Once I'm back. Oy vey. All right, I'm off. Crazy play. Wait, is it the remember, remember the 5th of November? Is this the night we remember, remember? Oh, beast. Well, I get it, because I'm cultured. Unlike Goryuka, a man of no culture and ill repute. This could all kiss me down under. Place the bread. Yeah, a real Chad, I'm sure. What the, what the fuck is the, uh... What's the marker for? Like, where is Pharaoh? Hello? Any Pharaoh? Man, the Germans really don't really do hate fun, don't they? Holy shit. You guys have fireworks and, uh... You guys have fireworks and celebrate something? Guess what? That fucking sucks. Sounds dumb as fuck. What the fuck is this, um... Oh shit. Okay, okay. So I I want to I want to leave this quest off for later until I go to here. Okay. Yeah, you know, Goryuka, I spent um I spent the 4th of July in Florida this past year, right? And there was approximately, like, there was approximately, we'll say, like, an hour plus of fireworks, like, on the beach where I was. 
You can look out over the water and see the next town in both directions down the coast doing their fireworks displays. All the people people up and down the uh, beach right outside our house doing fireworks. Very cool. Um, some house that was just like a bunch of randos. Run, Roach. Yeah, actually, um, if you if you know your K Kona history. Yeah, American and we celebrate not being British. The most based holiday celebrated by hundreds of countries worldwide. Thank God I'm not British the day. More countries celebrate independence from Britain than from any other country. Uh, you can Google it. That's a real stat. I'm not even joking. More countries celebrate not being British than any other any other country. That's not even slander or like bullying. That's just literally true. Oh yes. Obviously, you have to rule a country for them to be independent from you, on your edge. You fucker, get over here. Hold on. Don't even get a quick death. Hold on. Let's do this. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Quick shot. Like on your eyes, I spent hundreds of hours in aim lab for this. Gameplay. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I get it, I'm still missing one. Here we go. I need to, uh... DM sounds unfun. DM sounds uncool and unbased and like only losers shill for it. I mean, what? say oh that's pretty uh pretty good huh all right back to Matesha's favorite uh color scheme here
There you go, very cool. I need to repair my swords. I'm gonna do the side quest first, I think, because I don't see any level requirements. So there's probably no monsters to fight. Where's Fursuit Girl? There's probably a mod. There's probably a mod where you can like make him look like Sonic Fox. If there's not, there needs to be. Okay, the stock children's laughter sound effect is a little off-putting. And I was fast traveling to the Baron's place every gift. time. I see the future, yours as well, but not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. <laughs> Here. Thank ye. A fine offering, well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right, let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He looks on as the great viper bites and devours the silver lily. Wow, guys, I wonder what this is alluding to. Very mysterious. The serpent is quicker. The lily must perish. <laughs> That's not the future. Lived through that. And you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Um... Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yes, Windblade, the White Wolf. I'm a lore, Andy. Remember, Gryuka? I played The Witcher 1. I think they don't call him that in the other games. Huh? I got a fast travel point to here. Oh, they totally do. Why are you back in Velen? I'm just... Doing, I'm just going following the quest, sir. I had a quest marker to come here. I haven't done his quest yet, but thanks for spoiling that you can kill him. Oh, you mean the other... I don't remember. I don't remember, honestly. I probably did. I think he pissed me the fuck off. Like, the boss... The boss fight where you fight that guy is one of the worst boss fights in any game I've ever done. I probably was just mad and killed him, like, regardless of how I felt about his character arc or anything. So I don't remember. It was a while ago when I played the game, right? So like, I also wasn't super into The Witcher. Dragon. Too. Wonder if it can really help the old man see the future. He didn't free himself, guys. She just let him go for now. Change pick. I 
I'm just waiting for some, like, uh, you know. You're, uh. Well, let me, let me check something here, because I need to tab anyway. Oh, I, it won't, it won't show the linked accounts. I was going to say, if your Twitch account is linked to your Discord, she could probably see your Twitch account, right? Which would mean, therefore, that, uh. You could find the stream and be like, Panoko, make me mod, Panoko. She totally, she totally could find it. Hype the whole time in Portuguese about why you're falling in the lava and why aren't you playing her favorite game instead. You could totally do that. Got what you asked for. Baby, no, I need a moment. Well, I think she's a gamer girl, right? I think she's a gamer girl, so maybe not. Hopefully she's not a Witcher 3 fan, so you know. Towards a solitary tower, midst a blizzard. At least Chitanda won't have to play bad gameplay because of her. The wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will... Alright, so my interpretation of this vision is that uh, it's actually a reference to hit video game God of War Ragnarok, which is coming out, and a game I should probably play instead of this. Of a planted seed. If Lean's prophecy, leave me be. Go. Go now. EU schedule, Omega Me. Oh, sorry, I interrupted the. Uh, uh, two XP, Augurino. Imagine if I was playing on Death March, it'd be one XP. Uh. I have bad news for you, Goryuka, which is that it's probably not, that's probably not the priority. You've probably already lost on that front, I gotta say. I mean, of the two of us, Goryuka, which one is getting personal DMs about when to start or stop the streams? Huh? Let me ask you that. Which one is getting preferential treatment as to when the stream is on? British can't get this treatment because they don't have a license for it, remember? No license. Deduction skills of battler. I already put the mug away. So I drank from the, I drank from the battler's tears mug again today. Feels good, man. Any blacksmith mod check?
thought I could go in here because it was on my map, but, you know, maybe I fucking can't. All these doors locked. Can't get in. Maybe, maybe you do fast travel back to the Baron. Can't go in here. Surely this door works. Surely these stairs lead to a door that works. Fuck this game. Or playing this game again. You have the blood of many on your side. Uh, I talked to the elf, and I've actually had his quest in progress for a while. I just haven't finished it. Okay, fuck it. Back to Crow's Perch. The Pega. And I sure am immersed right now. I wish I was still playing Dust Force. Oh, that's my secret, Captain. I always wish I was playing Dust Force. Wish I was watching Heroes. I mean, you and I, you and I both know, Matesh, you have only yourself to blame. Heroes of the New Earth. Imagine having, imagine playing Han or even having a reference to Han in your name, in your Twitch username. Imagine. Clueless viewer. Imagine being so clueless. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loops are. <laughs> what do you see here, Begin? Hey. Feel like uh, 
feel like Goryuka is revealing maybe a little too much about his uh, mental right now, you know? Remember, remember, you see Goryuka type these things that uh, this is the guy who is recommending this game so hard, right? This is him. This, this is this is our guy. This is the one who's trying to tell me what to do in this game. He just doesn't know, right? Where's your gold? You can tell us willingly or no please all right you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hate yourself if i say it okay you ready for this what's it to you won't stand by and watch you rob and murder the name carrier the han and carrier han is a reference to heroes of new worth Nice shield, dipshit. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Slaughtered us like swine. You didn't yeah, see that's that's what I'm saying, right? Obviously Goryuk is not thinking, and yet we're supposed to do what he says in this game. Really makes you wonder, doesn't it? There is indeed a uh, blacksmith in Oxenford. Do you know who else is in Oxenford is the king that people probably want me to play Gwent with, so it was good for me to avoid Oxenford in general, I think. Well, those games aren't waiting on Witcher 3, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, those are the games that are waiting on Witcher 3. Now, would Mitesh rather watch Cutie, Cutie game with Yuna and Lulu and a furry guardian? I mean, obviously he probably would, right? But... Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. You should put a game that isn't a JRPG. But, I mean, Matesh, Saturdays are my RPG slot. Like that's, that, that is literally what this time slot is for. Chest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeria. What matters? How do you wind up here? Came with the army. Of All right, what what am I putting in this time slot instead? Joined the second Temerian army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black Ones' advance along the Dol Blafan and Mount Carbon Line. A fake RPG? For three days. Smash those into splinters. I mean, FF10 is cool. Soon after, I but which of the which of the games are you objecting to? That he promised to fight for a free war. Also, yeah, Witcher 3 was I was gonna just like army, but meme shut up and then Goryuka begged and pleaded to move it to Saturday, so So I decided I would mount my own fight. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's verse. She took a couple of lads across the Vess, Natash Flash. She plans to hit the black ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. 
Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm just, I'm confused as to what the alternative presented is here. If you think the JRPG streams are like, not exciting or worth doing for you, then that's fine, but like... Why Mowbray Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out, they're planning a huge expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. I mean, it's just Does playing, it's just playing one sense. game a week. Besides, like, um... You think about it, right? Those games all play very differently. For the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Ah, right to. But I have one I Also, what are what are my last and I prepare to What are my last five Saturday stream games? Like, if you take take out the uh, new releases and stuff, what are the last five games I put in the queue and, like, planned to play on Saturday specifically? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So you have this one. Answer, just you have Trails SC. Soldiers think tactically. You have FF9. When to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and... have, uh, I think, SMT3. Yeah, Trails 1, right? Those are probably the last five. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one and before that, I think... I don't remember if I played FF8 on weekends or weekdays. I think I played it on weekends. Rabbit and make a mistake. I was right. Well, I don't... I've been doing this for like a year and a half now, and I'm not really burnt out, right? What am I supposed to do about it? I'm playing games I want to play. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a Anything for a chance to see Vess again, Matesh flushed. Man's tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Moby Day. I just, I, I want to be clear that I'm not like, um, not like planning RPGs because I think viewers want to, are rabid for RPGs or anything. I'm planning RPGs because there are RPGs I still want to play and I, um, this is just, this is just a convenient time for me to work through them. I prefer playing RPGs in longer sessions. Like this. It's the village below. Black with Nilf Guardians already. They're games like um games like so RPGs or um she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Games like RPGs are really story heavy games or visual novels, stuff like that. I tend to prefer to play in longer sessions. You might have noticed that on on days on in times where I'm like playing a visual novel on the weekdays, I tend to like let the stream run late. A stream will my stream will run over the like or five hours long because I'm having a good time. I don't want to stop. What? My fucking sign? Hello? Oh, I forgot to uh, eat some fruit here. Wow, dodge, puggers. 
Oh fuck, he he does the one hit parry. Wow, he's so cool. You can't just button mash him. He parries you instantly no matter what direction you're attacking from. This is way cooler. You know a game had combat like this? Assassin's Creed 2 in like 2008. Yeah, but this game was made seven years later, and like the combat's still as lazy as that. And you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. Wow, damn. Join the sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your word. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Uh... <coughs> Animal Crossing 2. I see. Chitanda really is whipped. One left. He means Assault Caress too. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? I remember her covering up a bit more, but you know, they really had to uh, secure the gamer demographic with this game. Roach is right. Besides killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the witches take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Alright, Leffen and Manga are playing right now, so I'm distracted. You guys can just look at a vess. Thank you, Gary. Pretend that I pretend that I'm paying attention because you aren't look you aren't looking at my uh Aren't looking at my webcam, that's for sure. Just pretend I'm paying attention and you guys can look at this. Uh... Now, Leffen lost to uh, Sunse yesterday, so he's actually... He needs to win to force tiebreakers, pretty much. This is a, a must-win game for him if he wants to make it out of his... Wants to get the first round by out of groups. Can't you just play a webcam? You think I'm not already? Every time I've looked at my computer screen so far, it's just been me, uh, been pre-recording. In fact, the whole stream is pre-recorded. Sorry to have to break it to you now, but the whole stream's pre-recorded. I'm actually playing a YouTube video of someone else playing The Witcher 3 while I watch Melee. Stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. Ooh, we didn't go to ledge. Rough. Move on. A Metroid Prime meme for us NASA time zone Andes. We're cool enough to be awake for the Metroid Prime stream. Hand over the documents, thief. Me, a thief? I want him straight. I did in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was. Oh yeah, that's because you were drunk and awake past your bedtime on a Friday night. Papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. 
I'll play. Fuck off, game. I'm not playing him for them. You have to. True. Definite. Think I like Gwent that much? Yeah, he was stuck on the Lava E tank for a while. He was stuck on the boss. He was stuck on the boss for a while after that too. Honestly, that was pretty much the whole stream. Like not even not even bullying. It. The whole stream was basically the lava and trying to get to the boss and then dying to the boss. Like all stream, we got two E tanks and then beat one boss. <laughs> that was basically it. Still comfy, still fun, but that is that is actually that is actually what the what the stream was. Found the thief. Well, I'm gonna lose. I can't. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost him in my cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. Well, like me, to be I fair, Mango's been playing really well in the Fox Falco matchup lately. And, uh, he's kind of been beating Cody, even though Cody does better versus everyone else. Townhouse in Vingerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. God, I got carried away. I lost them in a game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. What, what was it to do? I, he wasn't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to. Well, his nose is probably really itchy. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. You'd not have it any other way. Why is the game reordering my side quests for me? I'm conf I'm getting confused as to like what I have and haven't done. All right, we've got a uh, Philippa and a Triss quest and a Dandelion quest, so we'll still have some pretty cool stuff maybe before we leave here. And we've actually got um got some contracts we could take now, maybe. So many so many random shit equipment things to find and monsters to kill. There's no way I'm 100 percenting this game, I'm sorry. Not even gonna 99%, I'm probably gonna like 60% it. Look man, if the game if the game doesn't like wall me off or something from some Augur's side quest content because I haven't done all the Witcher contracts and I'm just I just don't give a fuck, right? What are you doing here, mate? I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna giggle. A chortle. Like I'm doing the things that say secondary secondary Wes, right? Like I'm not I'm not ignoring the side content. But like the find the seven find the seven blueprints in random in random caves somewhere. Like I don't care, right? The caves are annoying. You can't uh you can't fucking see the map inside them, the entrances aren't always marked. Like it's just annoying, right? I don't wanna do it. 
I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not gonna go do all the I'm not gonna go dive for all the hidden treasures or whatever. Or destroy all the monster lair. I don't I don't give a shit. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yeah, like maybe maybe I'll go to a scavenger hunt for like the best armor in the game and then buy 15 armor repair kits and just run around and do all the cool story content. But like Yes, Geralt. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help too. She's not bitter. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Well, she just said she's not bitter, so she's definitely not bitter. So, so. Why do you ask? I knew you who slit Menga's throat, and then you were fierce. I've never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, but yeah, I'm, it's not, it's definitely not worth doing and it's double not worth streaming. Like. What did you want to talk about? I'm going to be really boring side co stream content. It's like I have three streams of me running around and exploring caves. She wants to help and if you decolon in that and don't believe me, Guessing this way I can show you what my viewer numbers were like when I played Xenoblade 3, and I did that. Okay. Like, unfortunately, unfortunately, the viewer numbers bear this out. People aren't. People are actually not going to turn the stream on if they think I'm just exploring caves today. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. So. Thank you. Someone turns the stream on and sees me talking to Triss, they're going to keep watching. If they turn the stream on, I'm in some random cave, they might turn the stream off and wait for something cool to happen. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? So. He doesn't mention flowers, but I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna budge on this point. I think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. What? Tennessee is losing by two touchdowns. This isn't even a game. And I can't have anything. Fucking Georgia. Mm -hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. A lot of things I hate, and the University of Georgia is one of them. Ha ha ha, Triss, you fool. Now you have no more butter knives. For I have stolen them all. Wah ha ha. You thought we were still friends? Well, guess what? I took your butter knives. And your cow's milk. Your alcohest and your honeycomb and your smoking pipe. Your cotton. Whatever. Hey, you. you really want to do this?
He had it coming. Oh uh, yeah, no, it's like compared to like say interesting. Can't fucking see. You know what? M for meditate. Never works, guys. Every time I press M for meditate, it gives me M for map instead. Even though I say it out loud. This guy's got keys. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. Yeah, compared to a game like, say, God of War, where if I explore and do everything, then, like, I'm gonna get some cool puzzles and some fun combat whenever I run into an obstacle. I'm much less motivated to explore everything here. If I explore everything here, I'm gonna find my inventory is full and I have to... and I have to go back. Is what I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find that I'm overburdened. Recently, someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. And like 15, 15 swords that are worse than the one I have equipped. Come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Baldo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I. It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel. Who's this we you're speaking of? Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady who are you speaking for besides yourself? I you no offense, sir. Why would the Lady Vagelbug meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop speaking for me, sir. Lady Vagelbug's son is the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple guards got him weak. Wouldn't Stop I putting words in my mouth. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Why? Don't say anything about putting anything else in my mouth either. It's not funny. Your joke is predictable and lame. I know you're typing it right now. Hit backspace. Do it. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? I know. We learned Miss Merigold would help Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided oh, of course, of course not, Matesh. Matesh is a Matesh is a smart gamer who plays cool games like Toho, Persona, with good music. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Bagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Ain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Bagelbug's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion. Want to throw a lavish masquerade ball? Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I manage without you. Lady Vogelbutt fears the elves being watched. That's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vogelbutt's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed, boomed from dusk till dawn, Pug. Cool. But 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from the Zed. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Hey, we could go visit the fireworks with Triss. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. 
Is that necessary? It's an anime rom com reference, Anura Jirai. Inches. How do we get to the residence? Using inches instead of uh, stones, rocks. I'm unimmersed now. SMH my head. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Ellie's a friend of Dandelion's. Oh, true. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that and come see me. I relate to Geralt so much. Every time I'm told to dress up. I only wear, uh... I only wear suits to, like, weddings and, uh... I only wear I only wear suits to weddings and job interviews. If it's optional, it doesn't have a uh, quest marker. I'm not doing it, by the way. Well, yeah, I, I avoid wearing suits whenever possible. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. I don't enjoy it. They're not comfortable. Chief, eh? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of health? Uh, you could maybe get away with not wearing one, but it doesn't. It doesn't reflect poorly on you. worth a thousand words. I don't think I would get denied a, 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 I don't think I would have gotten denied my current job if, like, I hadn't worn a suit. I think I did well enough on the coding that they would have still hired me. But it doesn't hurt anything, right? If 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 nothing else, it signaled to everyone who was interviewing me that I was serious about the job, right? So you might as well do it. If you're speaking with like a management or an HR person, they probably do care still. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? You know, but boomers and the like. Next time, Earl. Let's go. Great. Don't show your hatred here ever again. Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without a shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, uh, well, not that I like it either way, but that's but such as it is, right? right? You have to. You have to understand that even if you, even if you don't see set of actions as co communicating something that most most people do, and therefore you're going to get the benefit of the doubt if you conform with what how most people see that form of communication. Yeah, are they talking about Gwent? I was looking at the melee stream. Got a buyer in heat from a collection. Missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my ass, so... What do you say, Geralt? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, if, it, if Gwent is involved in this quest, you know what I want to pick? You don't play Gwent, then I'm down. Try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these. Also, cards. I, I I do like that like these cards are of like Betty actual people you can talk to Betty and bang and Betty shit, Betty right? Betty like they're, they're, these cards are these cards Betty are the pictures Betty of Betty real Betty people Betty you can have sex with. Or kill. 
or things like it. Like they're just dude, they're just people. Zed. Oh, sounds familiar. Big fish in the cabin. Zed. Consul and Zed. Monka Jija. And thank you, Gerald. You know more of all over the deck of cards. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. And there's a quest inside too. I think that's um that's Dandelion's quest, so I'm just gonna come back here later. That's where Dandelion hangs out now, right? There. Let's uh let's go ahead and do this quest because this seems interesting. Max losing game one is scary. Still feel bad they put Axe in this group, like... Axe had to play in a group with two people who actually steady the Pikachu matchup. And there's other Pikachu players at the event to practice to warm up for him. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? I am not hoping to play cards, actually. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can you mean dirty Pikachu player? Axe is everyone loves Axe, dude. No one, no one agrees with that take in the melee community except like Chuds. Okay, everyone loves Axe. Guy invented Pikachu. He's the only player who's at even remotely like top, that top ten level success with him. The only Pikachu player who's ever won a super major. Or come in second at a super major twice. Or finished fourth at multiple super majors. Wolf mask. Yeah, but the problem is that he, uh, the problem is that he gets owned by every top tier in Melee, right? Greetings. So, hold on, I'm gonna save my game here. I don't accidentally spend money I don't need to spend. Let me check the football score. Oh, it's so, so bad. Man, couldn't I get a good game? Uh, not exactly. Basically, Pikachu doesn't do damage. Like, all his moves do less damage than the other top tiers. Like, literal percent damage. His moves do relatively little percent. And he doesn't have very many, like, super OP hitboxes. And he's kind of light and he dies pretty easily. Those are the, those are the big things. Greetings. Glad to take a glance at. Of course, please do. If anything changes. Why play it then? Well, for one thing, he likes the character. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. You know, you play a character you like. Why? Why is he able to um, win with it? Like, what is he doing that? What is he doing that lets him win with it? as opposed to other player, other Pikachu players who don't have the same success. Um, a few things. For one, Axe is really, really good at the, um... Uh, not versus Fox, no. Versus Fox specifically, Pikachu has a chain grab you can only get out of if you have platforms. If you don't land on a platform, Pikachu can just up throw you and re-grab you endlessly. The Pikachu player is good enough. Um, besides that, um, Axe is really good at uh, edgeguarding Fox. Like, 
most most characters in the game and like in combo fox fox falco and captain falcon all get comboed by basically every character the trade-off is that you know fox at least fox especially can basically combo anybody because he's the best character in the game and captain falcon can combo most if not all characters too Maybe he can't combo Sheik, but I think that's about it, right? So like when you're watching when you're watching Axe play Pikachu versus um versus someone who's really good, like Professor Pro, like probably one of the best, I think he's UK, one of the best EU players, one of the best UK players. Alright, so you you have things like you have things like that going for you. But all this aside, like even if you even if you put the hypothetical like could Pikachu beat Fox aside, Axe is also just one of the most skilled players in the game. Like Axe Axe is just generally good at the game. He's good at like all the mechanics of the game. So like when you, when you look at it from that perspective, right? Axe as a player, if there's any if there's anything that like there's any specific system mechanic you can exploit to make yourself better at a matchup, Axe is probably doing it, right? So like he has he has those advantages. He knows a lot about the game. He he knows all his he knows all the matchups very well. He can play. He can play basically any character. He he could beat you with any character in the game. He could beat you with the worst character in the game. Or me, or Q, even Q Bear, who plays melee a decent amount. Like he would he would force dot Q Bear because he's so good. He's so good at just. Super Smash Bros. Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. I think most people say Bowser is the worst. Oh my! Certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare! You look great. You get everything? Is there anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. I mean, there's there's footage, Goryuka, of Mewtwo King force stalking someone in pools with Pichu. And that's exactly why we should help him. Back when Mewtwo King still entered, uh, Everything's ready. entered melee brackets. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, these damn doublers chafing my armpits, and it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. There's also footage of him force stalking people. Yeah, but only if he hits you. But I'm that's what I'm saying, right? Is like he he so he he was so much faster and so much so in the other player's head, so precise and technical that he just gave the other player zero chances to hit him. With the wor with one of the worst characters in the game. Things in order. You'll find Lady Bagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. The Tesh flushed quest, by the way. Leave your swords here, please. You guys can look at Triss while I watch Axe play. And then while I watch Amsa and IBDW play after this. Oh no, you still get to interact. Like it's not a uh Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's not a um not like infinite comp 
Not infinite combos necessarily. But like I mean, it's a game where you can run back and forth, right? So you just run back and forth, your opponent tries to, uh... Your opponent tries to hit you, you're so fast that you knew he was gonna try to hit you, you dodge the move, and you react to him missing the move, and then go hit him. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, Whoa, damn. The less they can, the more they pay. That is... Moss-covered, eh? I've never heard that. Never heard that Let's insult go, before. Kids. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian, hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked... He's a drunk Cuties fan, I'm sure. We'll just ignore him. He's had two beers at this UK barbecue. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll let him go. He can go off and yell at some other woman. Drunk Cuties fans, just, uh, you know, you gotta deal with them, right? Moritz, what are you doing here? A little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novograd? You can join us if you want. Hmm. I feel like I feel like this should have been a timed choice, but what do I know? Prof is making game four close, but yeah. join you and just who would I join your friends among others oh well it gives me a chance to watch the end of that match you will leave forgive me Marigold but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck farewell who is that he's an old friend his name's Moritz Diefenfeld tell you the story later Anamsa versus Cody is going to be interesting. I feel like, um... Oh, let's look around. I feel like Cody should win this pretty handily. Oh, no. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devon just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. I would not like to play. Feels like a missable opportunity, though, so, you know what, what the hey. I no longer wish to play Gwent. The fuck? He 
Do not enjoy this game. What did he just do? This motherfucker. All right, GG. I have zero dropped frames on my end. The man can afford to... Not in the mood. <laughs> what do you mean, not in the mood to win? You... Fucking hate this. This shit fucking game. So sick of playing versus these bullshit decks. No hope versus winning. That's my, that's my game. My game lied when I came out of Gwent. Well, I sure hope there's not a missable rare card there because I'm not, uh, I'm not doing it. Beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you? Hmm. I would, sir. Oh. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth and. I'm gonna get NTR by this guy. No wonder Arrow shield helps Gorika shield for this game so much. Oh, it's so immersive, guys. You can just go fuck off at the party and find other things to do, just like real parties. I'm immersed. Look, they even have whores here, like real parties. I go to IRL, surely. Did the did that uh Friend. buildings as 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 structural supports just right. phase out of being? If you trust this man, like no one else. Alright, Natesh Q indeed. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. 
How did the guards Benny knows what the good emotes are. Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Alfred himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. The Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his not very smart. safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. No, I lost. I lost and I gave up because the guy has a bullshit deck. Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed. If there's something missable here, then I'm going to miss it. Praise. Don't fret. It won't be long. If I, fa if I fail Zoltan's quest, then I'm failing it. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. I'm only gonna play Gwent if like I I happen to I happen to do a Witcher favor for somebody and like there's a there's a chest full of I'm afraid he's not fully comprehensive. There's a chest full of the best Gwent deck in the game. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in. That's probably the only circumstance under which I'm gonna actually be able to compete with these decks. I shall await word from you. I'm sure as fuck not a Wandering around, talking to every innkeeper in the game, or playing every single person. Wait, how'd you get ahead of me? I'm not immersed anymore. I'm uninstalling. Game sucks. But I was I was watching the whole time and she didn't walk in front of me and then I just looked and she was there. Quest failed. One's a panther. That's Morin. He's just a drunk UK barbecue fan. Let's see. Yes. Oh, that's a panther. Nice mask. Whoa, he's a real cuties fan. Rar, Matesh flushed. Albert Vagelbud. No. Count Matesh. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. 
Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Waiting in the garden with Triss, Matash flushed. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night for Two kids will already be peppering from the ground. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. You know what this reminds me of? The song Beneath the Mask from Persona 5, which is better than any of the songs we've heard today in this game. That's for sure. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Ah, Noris. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? Here, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Hmm. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. <laughs> Didn't mean it to. Don't quite know why I always say stuff like that around you. Always? Hmm, guess I remember things a little differently. Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Let's go. It reminds me of a story about, uh, you know, a guy who joins sure the Phantom Thieves and Don't saves the world. Fuller game. The sooner we get out of here, the <laughs> 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 maze of theirs first amazing the statues there are completely he's drunk entirely what Nude. <laughs> man okay she's a Come fucking on, lightweight Tris, wait. Geralt. Coming? two glasses of wine and uh and she's just gone Not getting drawn into some fault into some fine Triss in the maze Geralt. quest. Coming? I'm I'm staying right behind her here. I'm not exploring, I'm not talking anymore, I'm not doing shit. I don't care if there's like legendary legendary sex scene you can see if you take the wrong path. Oh, definitely not planned. <laughs> he tried. He tried. Miss Marigold, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune. Do you think she was? Do you think she's really drunk, or do you think she's pretending? 
I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Geralt will follow Yes, you. they definitely won't be able to tell that we're completely different people. Good. Meet you there. By us wearing different different outfits and having completely different hair. The perfect disguise. They'll never see through it. Right here, we'll explore the maze now, now that Arthur, Triss is not... You promised to show me your laboratory! What? I did? Not me, Matash Leaf. Oh, hello. Here you are. So, about this private show. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I... The doctor! Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. We have ways of making you talk. Try anything. Oh, they did take away my swords. But these guys don't have swords either, so what was the point of that choice exactly? Just gonna engage in fisticuffs like proper gentlemen. Wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Now let's do this. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end, until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. It was Felipe's son, André Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637, after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When André Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, André walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our town. While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sport sport school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place. But it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, 
who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled Witcher 3. <laughs> oh, Vinny. If you didn't get what the joke was there, then I'm sorry for you because you're truly deprived. He didn't if he didn't get that reference. You've been truthfully very deprived in your life. Culture and good taste. Maybe I'll maybe I'll stream the reference one day. I hope that's while the while the track was playing. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's it's more than I expected. Stunningly more than I did. Apparently I missed Ansa beating IBW. Excellent. So where are we going to get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. You know what's, uh... Now, maybe it's for the best, right? Because, um... If we, uh... If we avoid, um, any juice scenes, then you guys don't have to see what music I was gonna play over them. I don't have to listen to what music I was gonna. Quest failed. Uh. There, there was a, there was a one-time Gwent card here. I failed the Gwent quest. I never, I never have to play Gwent again because the quest has already failed. How stupid is it that you can just fail this quest randomly by, like, not winning at this particular place? Like, what do you have to do? You have to, like, reload save to before the party and go make a good deck? How dumb is that? Like, why would I want to do that? I'll we'll play the whole quest again. And we'll finish up Triss's quest line today. Guardsmen outside Triss's house. Not good. But I paid in advance the entire month. You 
cheap, but you paid the old price. The risks are greater now, and so should the rewards be. I'm out of coin. But you've got something else, dear. I'm still wearing the mask and the, the other stuff. Off or I'll cut him off. Geralt, you don't need to. I want to grab your things and let's go. Get out now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh, angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. They took a risk, sure. Yeah, you know, if we get to keep the if we get to keep the wolf mask on, maybe it's worth uh maybe it's worth the seeing the juice scenes. Please don't make excuses for them. Geralt, we could debate morals or any number of other topics, but I don't have time. The wolf mask stays on during sex. Actually, this is the perfect time for a moral debate. We can start by setting some limits on salt. Missing any melee, maybe. Gauntlet stages starting. Sacrifice. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave them behind just to save your own skin? Ralph versus Leffen. You're worried about me. But I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Berthold and Anise. Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildor. She studied at Aratuza. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar. And apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. Now back to the sewers, Pepega. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks. Clear the path for the others. And do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. I uh... Do you understand my predicament? Hmm. Help too and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? Oh, sorry. Hopefully she didn't say anything, uh, didn't say anything important. Uh, let's help him. We should help Anise and Bertold. To write them off like that. Luck versus Leffen for someone starting a loser's bracket? That's wild. Lead the way. That's wild. It's been a hot minute since I've seen a Plup versus Leffen set. I don't even know who wins that in 2022. Wait, did she just pee pee poof as soon as. She's here. He's chucking fireballs. Base magic user, Pog. Where's this hideout? Not far. In the bits. Now, quiet, Geralt. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. Raid. One one person raid. 
Oh, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Then we get another Witcher 3 player. Which case, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not very nice to, to the Witcher 3. Nothing wrong. Right. Hear that. Simple He's up the stairs. What, uh, what about my reward? Reward? Would you classify my stream content as kind to The Witcher 3, Goryuka? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, so see, there you go, right? I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Pertwan. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. We're going now. Go going. And some magic user can't even he can't even resist my sign. I'm honestly just kind of autopiloting to finish the quest, though. Immersion is back. I'm sure Matesh is really immersed and isn't, like, secretly watching heroes right now. We'd have to take that route. Sure was playing Rocket League. That's probably more fun than watching The Witcher 3. I don't blame him. Leave a city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. Oh, he is. The fuck, he's playing Dota. Dota? Imagine playing Dota. A dire tide event, bat chest. Too late. Damn it. You're here already. I need to ask. Well, you know, even the stop clock is right twice a day, right? You set out to rescue two people. Yes, and lost one. Good thing we got here before they found the hatch, grabbed the others. This is not about numbers, Geralt. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. Feels like the uh, the stupid attack on the Rat City in FS9, where like your choices are run right and run left, and based on absolutely no information, like some NPC just randomly dies. With the dramatic music. Geralt, 
Wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear Halo. You shouldn't worry yourself. The tarnish is no beauty. I guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born. Fox Pikachu on FD. Classic. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kabir, especially King Tancred or two. A lore. Any lore Andy's in chat? We've waited long to escape. Till we could make Forward throw up smash? That's a thing. Alright, I'm okay with this plan. If it involves me killing people, I'm pr I've been pretty good at that. In which case, we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake, begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Oh, he's gonna help us, huh? For the Redanian spy, one of its right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman, and you taught him to kill. You. This is no time to suffer past scores. That's a pretty fire combo. Oh, he read, grabbed the ledge. That's pretty good. Enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail. The next is up. The up for up air timing. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but. Offense taken. Oh. Stop talking and lead the way. I'll drop magic for good. All right, it's now or never, boys. Let's go. Time to enter the sewer, Papaya. Oh no, it's this thing. Weak to damage and being set on fire. Like most like most things in this game. Careful guys, these guys have a new attack pattern. You hit them a few times, and then they die, actually, apparently. Did I actually go through the wrong entrance? What? I wish I could see the map of the sewers, but you know, apparently that's too much to ask for. Is there another entrance or something? Like, what's with the, uh... Thanks for helping. No need to she just didn't, she just didn't follow no me this time? You don't know how much it means. To have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's alright. It'll be over soon. What? I, I'm can I... That, this does not make any sense to me, but whatever. Haven't we been- we've been through here before, running errands for Dijkstra. Damn it! No way through! Oh. A library? Books! Matesh reading! UK book club references! Gnomish prankings. 
Chris. Found an exit. Oh look! He jumped backwards twice. He jumps backwards after two hits, like all the other monsters in this game. What fun gameplay! I'm having so much fun right now. I played like maybe six or seven hours of God of War, and I swear, like in that six or seven hours, there's been more variety in mo enemy patterns than in the entirety of this game. Game of the year, for sure. The lab rat 101. Depends how many there are. Could be playing a Plague Tale Innocence instead. That's probably a better game than this too, right? Probably has better gameplay than this anyway. Is this uh this isn't the this isn't the arena where I was with Horson I was looking I was with the dwarves in the arena, right? That's not not what this is. I don't think. I'm, I'm confused. Something's up there and it's it's not programmed properly, whatever it is. What the fuck is this? 83 B5, it's not even good. You can keep the mask on though. I'm I'm keeping the mask on. We're playing the rest of the game like this. It does, it does. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Damn it, it's a lot. I don't disagree, Triss, but um Why'd you walk all the way back? What the fuck is she doing? She walked down? Apparently she just walked down. Okay, I guess we're just I guess we're just dealing with the rats. Why is this why is this like scripting fucking broken? Yeah, she like she she's not going where she's supposed to go. Nothing really. You need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find a way to the port first. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Like I need to restart my game. Don't check my Dota buff. I I never check on Raj's Dota play yesterday unless I'm ready to be disappointed personally. So immersive mashing E. Body's pale. Try it out. 
Fine, I'll read she who knows. Shut the fuck up, game. Let me read it. I'm pressing V. V! V! I'm pressing V! Can you guys hear it? Is it showing up on the mic? Guess I'm not reading it. Fucking game. This fucking game. I miss playing games where the gameplay works. Take me back to five hours ago. Lantern still lit. Died recently from bites to the neck. Imagine being the guy whose job it was to like copy paste these barrels. It's a cat -a -cat. A what? A Didn't I fight one of these guys already? Remember the Witcher 1 sewers feels old man. We didn't advance AI this much in what was it? What year did God of War come out? 2020? This game was made in 2015, God of War came out in 2020, so five years from now, hold on. What, uh, hold on. Uncharted 2, not 32. Uncharted 2, what year did Uncharted 2 come? 2009? I mean, to be honest, uh, Uncharted 2 has better has better NPC AI than this, like by miles, by by miles, by light years, by width of known universes. Oh no, the seagulls are crying. Everyone's fucking dead. Seagulls are crying, and everyone's gone. Rotting, sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers, and the. Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Need any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? Base extra. Don't meddle in other people's lives. Sorry, I must. It's my profession. So surprise you ask her to stay. Lup's playing Sheik Why versus Leffen. I adore love stories. Especially. Why does he not like playing Sheik versus Fox? Like Leffen's Leffen's been doing bad versus Fox other foxes. I was really I'm just hoping there's not like a fucking escort mission or anything. I do not want to protect these civilians, other mages.
eight escort missions. Time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. Yeah, it makes you think, doesn't it? And what we have together. Oh. Alright, chat. One or two. Type it in chat. Put your vote in now. I see two votes for one. I see two votes for one. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Two, wait, he switched his vote. He switched his vote. Oh no, no, no. Magic isn't real. Damn, I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. Magic isn't real. You're not meant to be with a witch. I'll remember you too. Always with a smile. Miss Marigold! Coming! Take care and give Siri a kiss from me once you find her. Up one fox for game two. He he always does this whether he wins or loses game one. I don't understand it. All right, goodbye, Triss. We hardly knew ye. Try to stop her. I had my reasons. Of course you did. You're an ass, an oaf, a twit. Right, why is Dixtra why is Dixtra so can do the world right. a favor if one more enlightened tells him how? Why can't we play as Dixtra? <sighs> Dixtra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save altogether? So does this actually does this lock you out of the Triss romance route? Give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Does surely the streamer won't also lock himself out of the Yennefer romance route. But who'll save those in Rimba? Banard. Surely, surely he won't also reject Yen. Surely he won't. Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my he mind, sees. systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father, was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania, made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? It's armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization, inciting peasants to take up their size, straighten them. Where's the art in that? Much what about American viewers? Stakes with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, 
progressive science and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir what uh, what phrase did he use that American viewers wouldn't get? Fucking hard work. I will I'm confused. Sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the tech. witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? You know what? You know what, Goryuka? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. You know what? I wish to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. I, I know you don't this, know. I find that hard to believe. I know you don't know. Principle, so. Oh, bollocks. That's a complete I'm going to remember this one. I remember this one. Measure your words. Hot, my friend. What are these words measured? Still, pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small. Your female friends included. For non-humans. For witches soon. Is that the north you espouse? The north you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest. I understand. To slay a king. And remember, remember when in uh, remember in Witcher Two when Geralt was like, "No, I don't kill kings. I'm not the king killer. Wah. I kill king killers. I let kings live. Instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me at the Pass of Flora in the Garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt." Uh... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna read this book here. Where is it? Yes, yes. Books say there were four at first. The mother, she who knows, the lady of the wood, came here from a faraway land, and since she suffered terribly from loneliness, she made three daughters out of dirt and water. A long, long time ago, the mother was sole ruler of all of Velen. Her daughters brought her the people's requests and served as her voice. Each spring, sacrifices of grain, animals, and men were made to the Lady of the Wood on her special night. But as the years passed, the Lady of the Wood slipped deeper and deeper into madness. Her madness eventually spread over the land. Men took to abandoning their homes and setting out into the bog where they became food for beasts. Before long, Velen was drowning in blood. The daughters saw their land nearing destruction and took it upon themselves to save it. When spring came once more and with it the night of sacrifices, they killed their mother and buried her in the bog. This is why we type bogged whenever the streamer throws. Her blood watered the oak atop Ad Carbon, and from then on the tree grew wholesome and hearty fruit for the people. As for the lady's immortal soul, it refused to leave its beloved land and so the sisters imprisoned it. This day, it lies trapped beneath the whispering hillock where it thrashes about in powerless rage. Hey, wait a second. I freed this bitch. Hmm. I'm sure it's propaganda. Just, uh, anti-her propaganda. Old Matesh Q, I see. Try it. This is we want to kill Radovid, and this is assassinate Radovid. So shouldn't I do, if I'm going to kill Radovid, shouldn't I do this first? Let's go do this first. Get some Philippa Matesh flushed content in chat. 
Marathon. Is, uh, is the football game actually a football game or is it basically over? Let's get sacked on third down. Damn, it's actually not a game. That fucking sucks. Why can nobody why can nobody beat the team I hate the most, huh? Why do they have to be good? Why can't they be bad? I like it better when I get to laugh at the team I hate for choking instead of them winning everything. At least Anecdota didn't let me down this time. Prepare for battle. You shall not have it easy this time. Brought friends. Huh. Oh, the no, cuties fans are back. Bilberry's honor too. No, no, no. They defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes. For you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Huh. But since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. Oh, I actually killed him this time. Well... I mean, okay. Whatever. Free grilled chicken sandwich. Here we go, let's read. Alright, well... Your simp quest is over, sir. I've relieved you of your burden. Don't need no longer defend fair milady's honor because you can no longer defend anything. What is it? We have a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? We're willing to pay. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. Need some kind of lead first. Any clues? 11, 3, 2, Plup. Yeah, Feels bad for Plup ready. being in losers, Draw but... Came out of the sewers. Wow. Too many good players in this tournament. Can I fail this quest if I run away from it? Uh, I think... <laughs> this game... You know what, whatever, I don't care. Probably wasn't a cool quest anyway. This game's quest scripting makes it really hard to tell if I'm like fucking myself over or not. One thing to hide the outcome of a quest until you for story immersion reasons, but it's like another thing to like just not have anything in the. Hey, it's just it's such a drag to try and. Um... Oh, faster. The drag to try to sort through things that are like things you got to do immediately and things you got to do later and all this. I just can't be, I can't be bothered at this point unless it's like obvious if you apply a little bit of logic that something won't work. How much longer do I want to go? I think I'm going to end after the side quest.
after this. Come on, Jack. It's both monsters and traps. Right, one. We've dragged out four wounded. And you hear a dozen corpses still hey, down deal. there. Tata's actually a horny poster. Tata, um, trouble. Some of their songs are pretty po horny, right? Trouble after the other. But what's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm not that surprised. Radovid sent me. No, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Just makes horny songs, not. Horny in general. I don't. That's not a. That's not very common, right? Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much. But he's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew an owl with no with eyes? Area. That probably looks really Put creepy. Away here. What can I expect? <laughs> 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 Which Isleheart turned into a... Vinny's unlocked his true power with the Mateshi motes here. ...some magic trap, then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? Dozen or so... Yeah, he's, he's familiar with Matesh, evidently. He knows all of Matesh's habits. Still playing Dire Tide, by the way. Sigiri Blair. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? Think you'll find it. Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door. Missing one tile. No, Plup Jam. Yeah, Plup, uh... Plup had a rough game five. I think he'll do well in losers, though. He, Plup has played really, really well in every... in every tournament he's played this year, and he's lost so far to Zane and Leffen, which are not bad losses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was trying to look at Leffen's face. Alright, let's we're gonna try using the sign on them, okay? We're gonna try using our super poggers sign. Hold on. Get equipped. Whoa. Says hold Q, right? Damn, inactive. Maybe I can start it up. I guess it didn't work. Whatever. Brave cuties defender. See that before you hurt yourself. Well, wait, you, you, you that 
Witcher, the king was oh no, he's an evil cuties hunter. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I don't wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I may have stepped a step. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? <laughs> Don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Frindebear, and Frangella Vigo. As I Me meeting of cuties, a whole cuties harem. Think Philip is still here. Can't rightly know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, with Teleport's power cell, I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Mm. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters. I really, I really don't want to take this mask off for the rest of the game. Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. Yes, yeah, Philippa. As I write this, I am sipping your favorite cocktail on the terrace of my father's mitted estate and wondering, what the devil are you thinking? I'd understand if you'd simply grown bored with me. I'd accept it if I had turned out the pair we made was not to your liking, or you had found yourself a younger, prettier model. The love of the bleeding gods, extra? That, with all due respect, pot-bellied swine, over me... I do not know if you have been testing new concoctions that have addled your mind, or if perhaps this is another one of your games. Even if you must seek intimacy with that primitive for political reasons, I do not see why this should mean the end of our relationship. After all, we not the first time we would hide our love. Interesting. Philippa dumped some woman for Dijkstra. Another feather. Found Philippa oh yeah, that's right. Philippa is definitely into women to other women pretty hard to deny that one after uh some of the things you can see in witcher 2 activated he most certainly swings that way That's just the same detail he's noting as Another before. Inactive portal, missing its power cell. Maybe the Neckers took a liking to it. And now loot the correct corpse. Another feather. Bang, me, 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 me. These are signs of polymorphy. Hmm. Tunnel. Wonder where it leads. Power cell. I got the power cell. Let's go back up now. Derp a derp. You know what I should do is we should bring back the someone gets in voice chat and then we read the we read the things out loud. To bring back that feature on the stream, you know, get the tar to help me voice act some of these parts. 
Bring back the Fatar and Anyaraj voice acting. It seems like Matesh puzzles. Oh no, no, no. Rip my, rip my, uh, I'd be dead if this were death march right now. By the way. I'm actually dead anyway, I think, but you know. from FF7. Yes. Bed, table, a few chairs. Agates, the home member of the always wore around her neck. Agate. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either thought Rails so reference. Natasha arrive. Hmm. What's this? Seed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant, blood stained surgical instruments. Dortha operated on someone here. Notes. Charred almost completely. Can't read a thing. A megascope. Scorched. I recognize this from when one of the crystals survived. Megascope. Scorched. Uh, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Maybe it did, but uh No. Yes, I guess examining that is not the place to go for it, huh? Kinda wish that the game didn't let you re examine these things. Yeah, see, you have to. I, I wasn't sure if you had to, uh, like, go back and tell him she ain't here, boss. What? Cause like, if I if I go to kill him, like, obviously I can't. Well, it's gonna be kind of hard to kill him and still like go report back to him, right? Pretty hard to report back to him and claim my quest reward if he's if I've killed him already, so or I've told Dijkstra I'm gonna kill him. Even if I tell Dijkstra let's go kill him, then the next time I go to see him, it's gonna be. You're alive. Find anything. Your concern. Wrong there, friend. I serve the king. Everything that concerns him's my concern as well. Hand it over, whatever you found. We'll see the king gets it. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! What? I can't believe this happened. I'm so shocked that this would lead to fighting. Hold on, let me try my new sign. A sign upgrade. There we go. You're mine now. I'm so immersed, guys.
Oh, look at this fun combat. Oh, that was so much fun, guys. I was so immersed when I did that. And I parry the exact same animation five times. E-line silver sword, is that good? Well, it's part of my quest, whatever that's worth. Does that make it good? Probably not, but... Whatever, right? Go back to the harbor. I am, um, you know, it's going to be hard for me to take this ship and get the free trip to Skellige. This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redemption. If, um, State your business. I want to see the king. It's about to if I kill him, right? If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you. That's going to make it a little difficult. Witcher. Any progress? Have you found Isleheart? No, I wasn't in her hideout, but I found this crystal there. Anyone enjoyed any movies recently? If I'd wanted a shiny bauble, I would have gone to a jeweler. And I watched Casablanca. I rewatched Casablanca. This is a megascope crystal. I watched The Sting when I was home last weekend with my family. That's actually pretty good. Would recommend for people who like heist or heist type movies. They might prove useful. Not exactly what I expected, but very well. You've earned your pay. Now forgive me. I have affairs to which you must attend. Huh. Now somehow that didn't end up with me. Uh. uh... Ended up with him offering to let me use his fancy boat, in spite of doing what he wanted. Hmm. Here to talk about contract. Isn't that so perhaps? Let's talk about. Acquit yourself well. If... Very well. I'll take the. You'll learn. Like to examine the a corpse is a I see the wound. Ask our saw bones. He'll any witnesses to the some woman survived. Won't give me any nah. Wait, this is a fucking DLC quest. Level twenty six. Holy shit, I can't do this. So, uh, let's go punch some guys and then we'll be done, I guess. Get the free money. Uh, time to get free money. I want to, uh, I want to finish the stream and then, um... Go actually listen to this melee commentary because it's Summit and Summit has the best commentary. Summit's where you get to listen to your favorite players commentate on other players' matches. I wanna, uh, I wanna finish this. Been plenty of content today. So don't talk to any people randomly around the town unless you're willing to drop everything and do what they say. Name 
Please get Patty Group. Uh, League Worlds, yeah. I'm ready. Hear that? Fight! Yeah. Man, I actually thought League was fun to watch at one point and then Riot kind of fucked it up, right? I know I've talked about this before on on stream, but like at one point I did genuinely enjoy watching League's feed, but like they fucked the meta up and it was blatantly obvious they had no fucking clue how to like stop people from being degenerate. Wanna be crowned the best in Novigrad. Who do I gotta fight? Well, if you they got it they got into a they got into a rut where like the thing that was making people have fun was making for some real, like, the competitive meta was just super, super dog shit. And what I mean by this, like, I, I, I know I've given this rant before, but, like, they basically made it so that, um... So as we can clean it of anger catch Sorry. You scar it. Hang on. Start bomb let him through. What? But we not your concern. Yeah, um they made it so that basically because um because you really couldn't like do anything in a certain lane until a certain point. Basically they it just became like you would pick, you would deliberately pick a weak laner and then you would just have them not lane and they'd follow the jungler around for like four levels or something. And then they'd go to lane after their tower was gone. You would deliberately sacrifice a tower, your top tower. I, it was really bad. It was like completely non-interactive gameplay. You guys stop. Really need to do really need to do this. Was this trip really necessary? Like they've never really recovered from that as far as I can tell. Like people still make people still make really mechanically good plays and like obviously I think the better team wins. Like it's not like an unfair game. There's no value in it as a spectator, as a pure spectator sport to me. I'm ready. Let's do this. Pathetic. What fun gameplay. I'm sure I'm glad they fixed this fist fight gameplay in The Witcher 3. This is basically exactly how it plays in The Witcher 1. By the way. They improved the gameplay though. This gameplay is way so much better. I'm glad that CD Projekt Red learned how to make good gameplay for this one. <sighs> that being said, I do have fond memories of when Faker was like the poggest player ever to exist. He was so much better than everyone else that it was amazing and exciting just knowing he was in a game. And Faker still being Faker still being the best and being in finals is kind of inspirational to me in that regard, right? Like I'm kind of I'm happy about that.
I'm happy that I'm happy that he's going to end up the undisputed goat, probably. Unless the game somehow lives long enough for someone to pass him. This elf's a dick. No, I am the first. <sighs> Came here to fight the tailor, so let's. Nova Granners, one and all. A all right. Occurrence. Before us, in just minutes, Geralt of Rivia will face the tailor. Come here, bitch. Uncle Durden wants to sew you a new face. Wait, they they fucking named a they named a a character in their medieval sorcery game after Tyler Durden. The Fight Club reference. What kind of, kind of stupid bullshit is this, huh? At least the fight's mildly challenging. At least he has a uh, he has an attack pattern that's not slow and predictable, and I still won on the first try. But like, at, at least I had to think for like five seconds. <laughs> well, oh wait, no, this this is the elf's uh, the elf side quest is level twenty four. That's why I didn't do it. Damn. Well, I have some card games quest to look forward to next time on MS. Money do I have now? I have a decent amount of money at least. I don't mind Gwent the game on its own, but like every every single person I play has better cards than me now. I do not want to go out of my way. I don't want to play people with better cards than me. I don't really have it. I don't really see anything fun in that. So unless, like, I go to a town and I play someone and they've got, like, no spies, no heroes, no medics or stuff like that, then I'm just, I'm just Matesh leave every time. FF8 fans would say the same thing, and you know, if you look yourself in the mirror and you're, like, you're sounding like an FF8 fan, maybe you've lost your way, right? Maybe you've just lost your fucking way. All right.
I'm done. I want to go lie down and watch Melee. And actually, the World Series game is probably starting pretty soon, isn't it? Yeah, it's soonish. I'm going to dip here. This is a good stopping point. Uh, hopefully, stream was fun today. I was told I was told Dust Force looked pretty cool, so it must have been entertaining content. And Witcher Three is the same as always. I'm gonna run out of run out of story quests to do eventually, and then no one will be able to say anything to me about missing stuff. So hopefully, hopefully we're on, well on the way to finishing, and we can uh, move on to FF10 soon. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. We'll pick up with Bayo3 on Tuesday. I'm not sure. Tuesday is actually election day, so I might um. I'm gonna go vote. I might need to like start the stream at a slightly different time than usual. But we'll see. I'll type something in Discord if that happens. I try not to let it affect my schedule because I can take I can take time off to specifically for voting without using up any of my other time off, but Yeah. Anyway. Uh I'm out. Have fun, uh let's all go have fun watching Melee guys. Bye.